Okay. Bye, Wendy. Okay, it looks like we are back on YouTube, I believe. Hi, Victoria, I just, I just went back on YouTube. YouTube kicked me off when we were watching the movie. So we finished it on TikTok because I was on both before. But I should be back on YouTube now. Um, can somebody who likes to go on YouTube, like, pop over to YouTube and just type in the chat? Make sure that I am back before I, I'll notify in Discord again. You better, you better. I literally just went back on, like, right now. I'm hoping that they're not, uh like limiting me now, but it says that I'm on. You better, I'm telling you, you better. Tell your mama something's gonna get you. You're not seeing me? Hmm. Hold on. Oh, I'm unlisted. Hold on, let me fix this. We're gonna go to, we're gonna switch this to public. And we're going to save it. And then you should be able to start seeing me. Hopefully. YouTube got mad. I don't understand why they got mad. Okay, there we go. Hey, Haley. All right, we're back on YouTube's friends. So my TikTok friends who like to go to YouTube, go right ahead to YouTube. And then everybody on TikTok, please do me a favor and just share this live. And... Uh, share this live and tap the screen so I can get it out again. Cause we only have 72 people in here. Cause a lot of people, whenever I, when I play a movie, people don't really come in. Um, but I want to get it back out there. So please everyone just like share the live real quick one time and I'm going to redo it in discord. Hello friends. You got the notification for YouTube. Perfect. We're back, we're back. Hello, Mama, Miss Murda, and Kristen, and Teresa, and Felicia, and Megan, and Bright Eyes, and Chicken and Quaffles, and Haley. How do you share the live? You press uh, the share button. <laughs> that was not helpful, I know. I know that was not helpful. Hey, Katie, baby. Yes, friends. I know on TikTok, you guys were tapping the screen. You were doing good. We got to 129,000 likes while we were watching the movie, which I super duper appreciate. Hello, Magic Cat. And I don't know if these people are still here, but I just wanted to say, because I didn't obviously want to interrupt the movie, but I wanted to say thank you to Kayla for the roses, Adam for the roses, Scooby-Doo for the heart me, Purple for the roses, Snow, Snow White for the heart me, Josie for the roses and the heart me and the team bracelets, JJ for the roses, Kristen for the roses, Purple for the roses, and Jen for the starlight compass, which was so cute. I saw it when it came through. So thank you so, so much. Thank you for sharing, my friends. I'm going to pop this back in Discord again. Um... Let me do this. I'm just going to re-announce in Discord since I had to get off of YouTube before. I'm going to try this. Everyone. Sorry about earlier. YouTube kicked me off during the movie. But we are back. Let me get the YouTube link. Copy. And paste. Okay. We reannounced in Discord with the new YouTube link, which should work fine. Hello, Iona. Thank you so much. Okay, perfect. I might have sent it to people that are already in here. That's okay, Mojo. No, no worries. Press the arrow. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing the live. I appreciate it. Literally, guys, if you apparently if you just like press the share button and press copy link, then it helps to share the live. I don't know how that works, but apparently that's what people don't tell me to do. Like you don't have to send it to a specific person. I think you just like press the share arrow and press copy link and it shares it. I don't know how. I don't know if it sends it to who it sends it to. I have no fucking idea. But thank you guys so much for sharing. I appreciate it. Jess, thank you for the roses and the heart puffs. Stephanie, thank you for the friendship necklace and the heart meme. Ooh, Katie, baby. What are you doing? You're sharing, sharing, sharing. It acts like you're sharing it, so it adds to the stats. Oh, I get it. You're here now. Hi, Crystal. 
You didn't ask, but I got an X to a laser cutter ad. <laughs> thank you, Daisy, for telling me. Christy, Stephanie, thank you for the cheer. You ups and the team bracelets. Hey, Andy, I got the notification you're live and I went to, it went to YouTube Kids. What? That's really weird. Hi, Kimberly. You sent it to your cat's TikTok? Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. So we'll just chat and hang out for a little bit and try to get the viewership up. So make sure that you're tapping the screen, that you're sharing the live TikTok. Um, and if you're going to send gifts, if you are able, uh, send team gifts, because that really helps to push the live out as well. I want to make sure that we have a good amount of people on before we start like doing our um, our game and our stories and stuff. It is only 743 and we don't normally start stories till nine. We'll probably start a little bit early, though. I am here, Rubug. I was I was on, uh, we went on and we did the movie, but YouTube kicked me off. After like five or 10 minutes, they kicked me off. They said that I couldn't be playing the movie, which is weird because it's public domain, but that's okay. So we finished the movie on TikTok and now we are live on both YouTube and TikTok at the same time. You just watched the alternate ending and you thought it was so much better. I never actually saw the alternate ending. What is the alternate ending? Mojo, thank you for the roses. Stephanie, thank you for the team bracelets and the cheer you ups. You either. Um, yes, I can. They get eaten and plants take over the world. <laughs> what? That's I gotta watch that ending. I gotta watch it. Okay, I don't have actually, nobody actually put any stories in the uh, in the Discord today. So I have completely open list. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if anyone has a story, let me know and I will write it down if you like. Good evening, Brooke. Good evening. Guys, my room looks like such a fucking disaster. My background is such a fucking disaster. Oh, Wolf, I have a story update. Okay, let me write you down, Wolf. You will be number one. What is the name of it? Update, oh, on Kiki's Playmate. Kiki's Playmate update. Well, I get why they would change that, I guess. <laughs> I guess I would get it. Jen, thank you for the heart me and the team bracelet. Mojo, thank you for the roses. I do remember the girl getting eaten. I thought I remembered it wrong. Oh, apparently there's more than one ending. Hello, Lady Raven. I'm doing wonderful. Thank you. It's not like you're moving. Geez, clean your room. <laughs> I know. Well, you know what? I mean, I could have at least made the bed. Like, we didn't make the bed today. We just didn't feel like it. And then, and then like, the thing is off my chest. And then this stuff is all on my desk. My carpet samples are up on the... This is the carpet we're getting, by the way, if anyone's interested. This is the carpet. Um, boxes everywhere. It's uh, everything's off my walls. It's crazy. I don't have stories, but I've been noticing small items reappearing, glitching. Now that I'm aware, Woo. I just watched one of your top ten creepiest TikTok videos. The Skinwalker picture one is literally haunting me for days. Oh my god. I didn't see the eclipse, but the hubs took some good pictures. I did watch the eclipse today. Yes. Hello, Heather. Hello. I did watch the eclipse. So I went to the park. Uh, it's so funny because like literally three or four days, like maybe three days ago or so, I was really scared of the eclipse and not that something bad was going to happen, but I was nervous that it was going to get dark and it was, and since it was going to be dark in the middle of the day, it was going to make me feel anxious and have anxiety. <laughs> so I was like, oh my God, I'm going to freak out. And then all of a sudden, like my opinion changed and I was really excited for the eclipse. I was like really excited. Um, so I I was like, oh, I'm going to go in the, the eclipse. The energy of the eclipse is going to be so good. Hi, Heather Nicole. How are you? So I went to the park today. Um, I went there like right before the partial started and I pulled cards for myself and which 
turned out so good. I journaled a little bit. I meditated a little bit. Um, I started meditating and I was opening myself up to the any like activations and um, upgrades and stuff from the eclipse energy. Um, and then as I was meditating, my Reiki hands got really hot, it, like turned on. So I was like, I feel like I need to do normally when that happens for me it's either me needs it or someone around me needs it, but there was no one around me. So I was like, okay. So then I gave myself Reiki. Um, and then Uncle Matrix came and met me at the park. And then we had little eclipse glasses that I actually got from TikTok shop. And we hung out for like almost two hours at the park watching the eclipse and chatting and stuff. And it was really, really nice. It was so nice. We had like 89% totality. So we weren't 100% totality, but it was really, really good. It was really cool. Yes, yeah, so beautiful. Thank you, Brooke. Yes. I'm not the only one that gets anxious about feeling anxious. Nope, Felicia, you are not. My one month old is wide awake listening to you talk. Hello, one month old. How are you? I cannot do Rocky Horror, John. If YouTube kicked me off for uh, Little Shop of Horrors, they would never allow, and TikTok would never allow me to do Rocky Horror. It's way too sexual. Absolutely not, but it's one of my favorite movies. Hello, Heather. I wasn't in the direct line of it, but I read cards for a friend because she's been having a hard time. The cards are very accurate during the eclipse. Yes. Excuse me. Hi, bud. You want to come say hello to everyone? Odin says hi. It was messing with my eyes. I'm extremely light sensitive and kept having to adjust my screen. Interesting. If <gasps> oh, Odin. Okay. Listen, I love you, bud. keeps almost knocking everything over um it felt I felt such great energy oh my god I felt such good energy I really just I really like my body was tingling and it felt so good it felt amazing I'm so happy about it I'm really really happy about it it was wonderful I had a wonderful experience and just in general I really 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 missed I haven't been to the park yet this year because it's been too cold so I really missed being at the park. I had my shoes off. I was barefoot. I was grounding. I was in the grass. It was, oh, it was, it was wonderful. I had a really nice time. <laughs> you had 93% totality in Texas. Woo-hoo. Play Rocky in Discord. So that I can play Rocky Horror in Discord. The problem with Discord, uh, playing movies in Discord, is only 50 people can come. It only allows 50 people in the Discord like little thing. That's the issue with, that's why I started trying to do it this way because it only allows 50 people. First live I've been able to catch, I'm already, <laughs> I already fully love your cat. Hello LDK, welcome. I have four cats, that is one of them. That is Odin, he's my main coon, he's the giant one. Boo, Discord, I know. Well, they allow more people if your server is at a certain level. However, it takes like a whole bunch of boosts to get to that level. And it's like people have to pay monthly to boost the server. And that's just, it is unnecessary for people to spend money. And it's unrealistic to try to get it up there. Um, my seven-year-old accidentally let a holy shit slip during the eclipse. Oh my God. <laughs> my manager was saying it's a bad omen to look at it or be outside. No, it's wrong. That's what they want you to think. Don't touch that movie button unless there's a movie because it started ringing me at 1 a.m. Oh, my God. It started ringing you? I did accidentally hit it the other day. I'm so sorry, Brooke. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Plastic, I could probably play that one. We could probably play the original Amityville Horror. I have to make sure it's public domain, but it probably is. You had 95% in Massachusetts totality? That's awesome. Yes, Rocky Horror is one of my favorites too. I think some of you on YouTube might not be caught up with the live, so make sure you click on the live button. I want to go to a theater showing of Rocky Horror. Oh my God, John, I did that. John, I went with my mom. So my mom used to, my mom was like obviously alive when it originally was out all the time and she used to always go to those like midnight showings where you everyone would dress up and they'd have all the things. You'd throw all the things and you'd yell all the things and everything. So she used to go all the time. And then um, we went to one, I think two years ago, two or three years ago, me and my sister 
and my mother and I don't know maybe her wife I'm not sure we went we went to one it was great we went we sat in the seat so they had the movie playing and they had actors on stage acting it at the same time the movie was playing and they gave you little packs with all the things to do and we were yelling all the things it was like super super fun and then we went to that one and then after that for a couple of years my sister has actually done it in her backyard with like just us like she'll put it up on like a projector thing and she makes the little packs of things and we do it in the backyard with some people it's really really fun it's so much fun that's what you want yes i avoided the eclipse because i don't want any more chaos in my life my 12 year old kitty passed away unexpectedly last friday it's been really hard without it i'm so sorry to hear that conflicted i recently had an animal pass away as well so i know how hard that is I'm sending you so much love you have a rocky horror themed restaurant theater restaurant in your town oh my god jen where is that i need to go <laughs> Where did this person live? Newcastle, Australia. We need to go to Australia. <laughs> we need to go to Australia, apparently. Guys, this is so bad. I only have 78 people on TikTok. Only 78 people on TikTok because of the movie. This happened last movie, too. Um, That's the only bad thing about movie nights. Also, hold on a second. Hello, Jessica shows. <laughs> nope. John doesn't want to go to Australia because he says, nope, bugs are too big. The bugs are too big. All right. Some shit's going on. I have no idea what's going on. Um, How's the packing coming along? The packing is coming along. We, this weekend, we packed up, um, what's the name of it? Yesterday. Yesterday, we packed up pretty much the entire kids' rooms. We went through their rooms with them, we got rid of a bunch of things. We packed most of their stuff. Um, we packed up all their toys that we have in the living room. Um, so much more to go, but it's going. It's going. We did not get to see the kitchen yet. It's not done yet. <laughs> you know, contractors, you know, things happen. Um, Apparently, the kitchen stuff, like the cabinets, got delivered today, and we should, they should be doing it, he says, and then the carpets they have to put in, the rugs they have to put in, so he said it should be beautiful by Wednesday. I'm hoping maybe Wednesday we get to go look, but we shall see. I just joined, but yes, the bugs that are very big in Australia. We had a spider the other day that, ooh, that what? was bigger than your hand. Ah! Hello, Claire. How are you? You're on TikTok and YouTube. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you, Auntie V. I got most of the awful yard work done. So productive weekend for us too. How's your packing going? Australia is like the journey to the center of the earth with all those <laughs> big ass bugs. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm not keep, I'm not catching up here. Um uh, uh Hariklia, thank you for the high bear. Alyssa, thank you for the heart me. Warrior, thank you for the heart me. Princess, thank you for the hat and mustache. Mama Bear, thank you for the heart me. Daniela, thank you for the rose. TikTok, keep tapping that screen, my loves. We're trying to get to 500,000 likes today. We did it the past two times, I think. I think we can definitely get there. We're at 140,000 already. He was a huntsman. I've become very good at catching them and taking them outside. Nice. Hello, Ami. The food at the restaurant is themed to tomato soup served in syringes. <gasps> Jen, that is so cool. Where in Australia? Wait, where did you say in Australia? I have relatives in Australia. I don't remember where exactly they live. It's, it's slowly going. <laughs> Turner, I get it. Uh. Oh my goodness. Okay. <sighs> Does anybody else have stories they want me to write down on this list, by the way? I have one. I have one written down. Newcastle, two hours north of Sydney. I'm trying to think where my relatives live. I don't know. Are you guys like ready for 
my background to be my new house, like my new office. There's not going to be a bed behind me. I don't know if anyone can see. Okay, can anyone spot Natasha? Let's play a little I spy game. Can anyone spot Natasha? She is back there. You finish another picture for me? Oh, oh my God. Which one is it? I'm ready for you to have an amazing space to yourself. Thank you. Spot the pile, Leah. <laughs> Why is there only 80 people? Because I played a movie before this. And last time I played a movie, this happened too, where like not a lot of people were in the live and then it's not getting pushed out. So hopefully it will get pushed out eventually. I don't know. What are we seeing? Under the blanket. Not under the blanket. In the comforter. Mm. Nope. You see her feet. Caitlin sees her feet. Oh, you see a little booty. Yes, YouTube got it. Next to the box on the nightstand. Nope. That is actually my stuffed walrus that I sleep with. He's my little snuggle guy. <laughs> you missed the movie? YouTube does have a better view. Let me see TikTok. Hold on. Uh, TikTok can still see. You sleep with your son's elephant. Do you think restarting the live would help? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe we should try that. TikTok, would you mind if I just restart your live real quick? It might help get more people to come in potentially because it's like started again. All right. I'm just going to restart real quick so i don't think you're gonna lose the likes thank you for the i think the likes should stay because it's not so because i'm gonna restart it it's gonna like go off and come back on but you know what actually hold on let me just see one thing real quick because I was trying to see if there was a way on this program with the like goal, if I could like. Mm. No, I guess not. All right, we'll see. All right, hold on. I'm going to restart. Let's try. We are going to press. End the live. Okay, it looks like it kept the likes, which is good. Let's see if TikTok comes back. Bum, ba -da -ba 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 -bum. You did get a notification on both platforms. Okay. Okay, people are coming back in and it looks like it kept the like goal. So that's great news. Great news. Yay, the likes stayed. Here I am. Let's see if this helps a little bit. We'll see. Oh, and for anyone wondering, uh, Natasha is right there. So she's on this side and she's all the way back by that white pillow. If you see like right here is her butt and her legs sticking out. <laughs> That's her butt and her legs sticking out. You still don't see her? <laughs> Brooke put the Natasha emote. I love it. <laughs> 
You were right. She's right there. Right here. <laughs> Can anyone see? Yes, Denver. Woo! That's what I like to hear, mothers. <laughs> Thank you for sharing the live, Chris. Thank you for sharing the live, Jen. How's the eight ball doing today on YouTube? You still can't see her? Can anyone on TikTok see Natasha? My little cat, she's right here. This little thing right there. It's her, it's her legs and her butt. It did help. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you so much, Haley. What a great idea. I thought that was her little legs back there. I had to zoom earlier to look for her. Yep, yep, yep. Eight balls being rude as usual. <laughs> you see her. Woo. She's just off screen on TikTok. I see her on TikTok. I'm looking at my TikTok screen in TikTok Live Studio and I see her. She's like just right there. Hey, girl. Hey. Hello, Crystal. How are you? We didn't lose the likes on the screen, but we did at the top of the live. Oh, well, you know what? That's OK. That's interesting. That's interesting that you lost. Oh, yeah, I see that. So I see that your likes say 2,382, but my likes on the screen say 500,000. So you know what, keep that's we're just gonna go with what's on the screen here because you guys did get the hundred and forty five thousand before, so it'll stay. It'll stay. It'll be good. It'll be good. It'll be good. It'll be. Good. Is it moving though? Is my question. Oh, it's not connected. Oh no! Wait, guys, it restarted. Ah! <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't know what to do. Yes, there are more people. Well, I could make the goal less. So you guys had, a what was it, 145,000? So we need 355,000. So let's do that. Look, I changed it to 355,000 so that when you guys get 355,000, it'll be like we got 500,000 for me, like for us to hit the to hit our little goal on the screen. You know what I mean? What are we looking at here? Where? What are we looking at where? You're looking at me, I think. No? <laughs> are you not looking at me? You posted a screenshot in Discord, how I see TikTok. Let me see. Ooh, guys, somebody, people put Eclipse pictures in Discord. Oh, Jack Jack, you got good ones in Chicago. Different view. Oh, there is a different view. Oh, no. I see. The numbers you're talking about. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Are we going to pick random stories if no one else has a story? Yes, we will. We will, we will, we will. Shay, thank you for the sunglasses, my darling. Okay. Uh, if anybody wants to post their own Eclipse pictures or if you just want to come hang out with us in Discord, this is the Discord TikTok. It's on the screen for you. It's dse.gg slash antimatrix. And one of my mods will put it in the YouTube chat for you guys. Please come and join us in Discord. You can hang out with like-minded people. You can get announcements from me on when I'm going live, when I post a YouTube video, when I drop new merch. And uh, people are putting their Eclipse pictures in there. So feel free to join us. Feel free. Blah, blah, blah. Feel free to join us. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hello, Vicissius. <gasps> oh, my God, JJ. I saw that gift today when I was looking at like to put up a to put up a gift goal. And I was like, oh, my God, what is that one? Thank you so much. That was so generous. Thank you so much. That was really, really cool. Have I ever told you that I love your voice? I don't know if you've told me specifically, but thank you. Ah, oh, thank you, Turner. Which chat on Discord are the pics of the eclipse? In the general chat. In the general. The general chit chat. 
And somebody put some in the glitch chat. <gasps> oh, Brooke, that is a cool one in the glitch chat. Woo-hoo. Amy. Ah! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Brooke, that was the first one is so good. Thank you, Crystal. Finn, thank you for the heart me. Jen, thank you so much for the rose. TikTok, keep tapping that screen. Likes are free and they are very helpful to me. <gasps> oh my God, JJ. I saw that one too and I wanted to see that one too. Holy crap. Thank you so much. That was so generous. I appreciate you. That was beautiful. Tiff, thank you for the heart puffs. What is the Sigma apple? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Good morning from Australia. Good morning, Dicko. I finally sent you two emails. Oh, okay. Allie, what is the name of the stories so I can read them? You will be number two. Oh, thank you, Finn, for the starlight compass. Those are so pretty. Thalia, thank you. Yes, the starlight compass is the gift goal. We need eight more starlight compasses for the gift goal, my friends. Oh. <gasps> JJ, that was so cool. JJ, my goodness, you were so generous today. Thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. You sent one too? Candy, what is the name of your story? And I shall write you down. Jess, welcome back. Hey, Victoria, how are you, darling? Hello, Isabel. Oh, I think I probably said hello to you guys already, but that's okay. <laughs> Paranormal experiences. All right, you are number three. We have room for seven more stories on the list. So if you have one, let me know and I'll write you down. Um, and got you, thank you so much for the heart me. <laughs> Anxiety. <laughs> what is the name of yours? How long have I been on live? Well, technically I was on live starting at like 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and it's 8 p.m. now. So I've already been on for two hours, but we watched a movie first. And now we're back to do our regular live. Um, Talia, thank you so much for the team bracelet. Claire, thank you for the heart puff. Jen, thank you for the team bracelet. Talia, thank you for the team bracelet. Yes, my friends, uh, on TikTok, tapping the screen and sending team gifts is the best way to help push the live out and sharing it, obviously. I appreciate you doing any of those things. Thank you so, so much. Um, oh my goodness, JJ, you're, those gifts that you sent, JJ, did you win the lottery? <laughs> that was beautiful. I love the meteor shower. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Nooklings. If we are in Discord, can we watch your live? You can't watch it in Discord. You missed the movie. That's okay. Hello, be mine. Yes, don't forget your daily heart me. Yes. I wouldn't tell anyone, but there would be signs. <laughs> I understand. I wouldn't tell anybody either. It's very dangerous. It's very very dangerous if you like have win a bunch of money or something like that. Never, never. Don't tell nobody. How is the movie? It was so good. <gasps> Oh, JJ, thank you so much for the galaxy. Galaxy. Holy smokes, I appreciate you. Be mine, thank you for the heart me. Uh, we watched we watched Little Shop of Horrors, and it was amazing, as always. I was over here by myself singing and dancing to all the music. So the music is so good. The music is just so good. It's amazing. Mary Jane, thank you so much for the heart me. Pop out and like the live. Yes. Little shop. Little shop of horrors. <laughs> it was so good. Auntie, you should look at the Discord Eclipse from Texas. Did someone put it in there? <gasps> oh my God. How did you get that picture though? I don't know who it is. Who is it in? In here, it's Starshine in Discord. Holy smokes. <gasps> wow, those are beautiful. Those are beautiful. Is it weird like clockwork orange? No. <laughs> Wait, what happened? What? 
what happens? Someone like deleted all of John's messages. How do we undo that? John, can you still talk? That was def had definitely had to be an accident. You didn't do anything bad. My daughter's walking around saying, feed me Seymour. <laughs> feed me Seymour. Feed me all night long. Yes, so good. I'm in Indiana. It was pretty cool. I'm hoping to win Oz Lotto tonight. What is Oz Lotto? 50 million would be nice. Woo! I did see the eclipse today. Oh, my God. JJ. Oh, that's a cool one. I don't think I've ever seen that one. Thank you so much. Uh, Utah doesn't have a lottery? What? You're trying to undo it. Can John talk? John, can you talk? It was an accident. John, are you there? It was an accident. Nevada doesn't have one either. Gambling is illegal. Oh, man. JJ, oh my goodness, thank you. Oh. JJ, holy crap, friends. Thank you so much. You're on fire tonight. On fire. Or had a billion plus lottery that was won by a single person. A, <clears throat> a billion dollars is like so excessive. We were talking about this the other day because the lottery was a bill. It was like over a billion. It was like 1.3 billion. And it was like, I was talking about, I you guys have probably seen this, but if you haven't, the difference between a million and a billion, like when you think about it, it doesn't seem like it's really that much different. Like, okay, like a billion is a lot of million, whatever. But it is, if you think about it in, in the... In the way of thinking about time, right? A, a million seconds is like 12 days, I think. And then a billion seconds is 31 years. That's the difference between a million and a billion. A million is 12 days and a billion is 31 years. If I ever won a billion dollars, I would literally make sure I had enough money and my family had enough money to be taken care of for the rest of our lives. And then I would literally just give it the fuck away <laughs> to everyone. I would just give it, give it, give it, give it away. Holy mother. Thank you so much, JJ, for the paper crane. Jess, thank you for the heart me. Mish, thank you for the heart puff. Tina, thank you for the heart me. Oh, Odin, Odin, are you, are you John? Are you John on YouTube? <laughs> Our fiance, Mojo. <laughs> that was a complete accident, Odin. The mods accidentally did that. Um, mods helped. He, Haley said she dropped her phone and it muted you. She's trying to figure out how to unmute you. Hold on a second. <laughs> um, let me see. Hold on. I'm trying to see if I can fix it. Uh, I don't know. Oh, here, hidden. Okay. Mm, nope, it's not in hidden. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> maybe it's a timed mute. Oh, maybe. The amount of rich people do not understand or don't see the karma implications. That's so true. Odin the cat has a secret identity named John. <laughs> Try going to channel activity. No, that's not helping. Oh, I don't know what to do. It wasn't muted. It was a timeout. I'm assuming it's a timed timeout. Can some, can one of you guys like Google it? <laughs> John is uh on, he went over onto TikTok. So he's on TikTok. If I won just 10K, it would significantly change my life. Hello, Saab. 
You posted the Texas one? Oh my God, Rachel. Beautiful pictures. Beautiful. You know how many homeless people and animals could use that money for help? Exactly. Exactly. I wouldn't mind either if I won a billion. I'd love to be able to give out millions. Wouldn't it be so nice? Oh my God, I would love to be able to just give money to people. I would love that. Thank you for the little crown. JJ, thank you for the sushi. Saucy, thank you for the heart me. Thalia, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate you so much. Welcome to the Glitch Community TikTok. Please welcome Thalia to the Glitch Community. We are 246 out of 266 subscribers for the subscription goal. Oh, and I need to reset my gift goal because one Miss JJ blew it out of the damn water. So let's, let's set that up. Let's do... Oh my God, I love these. <laughs> the couch potatoes are so cute. <laughs> I would love to give away money too. I know. Woo! A timeout is timed, Chrissy said. Okay. I love giving as well. Yes. Your phone's being crazy? What's going on? <gasps> Oh, Peach, thank you so much for the couch potato. It was so cute. So cute. I think helping the less unfortunate would be way better than being super rich and keeping it for myself. Yes, Isabel, yes. Is there a reason I see some of the names and posts but not others? Oh, yes, Lorray, you might have it on top chat. You can change your chat from top chat to live chat. If you change it to live chat, you'll see all of them. Rich people should be literally coming together and pour it into a CDA and let it chill and then give those CDA profits. Yes. Yes. Ooh. You couldn't hear me until just now? Aside from my family and friends, I would also, I would absolutely love to donate to OHSU and the Night Cancer Society. What's OHSU? I don't know that one. It would be crazy fun to hide money on the grocery store. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Helping people and seeing them happy makes me happy. Oh my God, me too, Jen. Oh my God. But it's better if it's it's the best like when they don't know it's you. Like when it's a what's an when it's an anonymous one, but you get to see them be happy. That's the best. That's like the super best. Rich people could end hunger and homelessness so quickly. I know. Hello, Shady. Welcome back. Oh, Bristol. Thank you for those beautiful hanging lights. I appreciate you. Oregon Health and Science University. My daughter was born at OHSU. I just changed mine to all messages. Click the three lines next to the scissors. Me too. Helping people gives me joy. Yes. Yes. Start a cat sanctuary. Oh my God. Yes. Um. Oh, wait. Okay, Allie, what's the name of your story? I don't know if you told me and I missed it. And also, Anxiety, what was the name of your story? <laughs> Jess, when do you think the, the world is ending now? It was supposed to end today again, right? But it didn't. All you crazy religious people, the rapture didn't happen. We're still here. <laughs> We're still here. Uh, I didn't check if I got it. Wolf, I wrote you down, though. You're number one on my list. There shouldn't be such a thing as a billionaire. Same. In the next few years, you hope? <laughs> it was supposed to end in 2012. It was supposed to end in Y2K, then 2012, then like so many times. Definitely in your lifetime. Caitlin, woo! There may be another, but that's what I thought when you asked. Yes. This lady was ranting about it at work. Oh, my God. Did you see the solar eclipse? Yes, I did. They were clearly just fixing the seam in the dome. <laughs> Probably. Saucy, thank you for the team bracelet. One time I took the national debt and divided by the population, and it was like $20 per person per month to pay off our national debt. That was when Obama was in office. I graduated and I didn't plan for anything because I was hoping it was right. <laughs> Someone asked me if I saw the apocalypse today. <laughs> she didn't want to be charged for missing her appointment because the rapture was happening. No, Peach. No. <laughs> that didn't happen. 
<laughs> Nobody knows when the world will end, says even the angels won't know the end, so no human knows. No, nobody knows. Michelle, thank you. The sun needed a new light bulb. <laughs> I need to get... They need to forgive all the student loans. Yes. Couldn't get her message because Jesus... Couldn't get her massage because Jesus. <laughs> I don't know why I think that's so funny. I think I think it's so funny because I, I don't know anyone like really in person that was thinking that. It's just like the people I hear online. Uh, like, what's her name? What's her name? Um, Colette on TikTok. I'm so sorry I'm missing your lives. Shunat, I'm so sorry. I'm sending you so much love. I'm so, so sorry. <sighs> Running a spa in Alabama is never boring. Why, Peach? What else happens at your spa? Yep. Yes, Rodolfo. Yes, JJ. I used to follow her um, before all that happened, all that started. She even actually reached out to me at one point and asked me to, like, be in some, like, thing with other people and talk about, like, stuff like spiritual stuff but before uh before she found jesus again or whatever you want to call it i don't know what to call it at this point i'm spamming the live but i don't think you're seeing my comments i'm not seeing it maybe it's a word that you're saying anxiety but hey you know to each their own like everyone's their own person they have their own beliefs and their own things and exactly jj exactly thank you for all the love it means more than you know Massage, I need one of those. <laughs> Friends on TikTok, we are also live on YouTube if you want to go there. I am Anti-Matrix on YouTube. The quality is a little better and you can see the stories on the screen. Um, I lost my train of thought. Allie, where's Allie too? Allie on TikTok, you were supposed to tell me the name of your story. If anyone else has stories, please let me know. We have room for six more stories for tonight's live. JJ, thank you for the high bears. I'm not sure if I said thank you to Michelle and Mama Jen for the heart meets and the cherry ups, but if I did not, then thank you so much. Just to be clear, I don't do the massages. I manage the people who do. Yes, I know. Patience, thank you for following. Anyone know of a legit at-home jobs? I need... To get Justin out of construction. Yes. Um, I feel like there's a lot of at-home jobs now. What else is he good at? Thank you, Wolf. I got this on Amazon. It's like a pack of headbands. And I love it because it... I'll show you in the back. It's like knotted in the back kind of. So it stays on. And then it comes around. And I actually have it folded. Sometimes I have it all the way up. You could fold it. Um, but yes. Like hurting cats, but I love them. <laughs> Data annotation tech is supposed to be good. OnlyFans. <laughs> Jess Isabel says OnlyFans. A lot of at-home jobs are customer service. Yes. Hello, Jen. Found out you're going to be an auntie too. Woo! <laughs> Congratulations. No, Regina, a lot of us, a lot of people here... Are, do, are religious and do believe in Jesus. Um, I personally believe that Jesus was a person and he was a healer, but I don't believe in, uh, I don't subscribe to some of the things. Everyone has their own, everyone has their own opinions and rights. Everyone is, is allowed to believe and feel however they want. No judging here, no judging. Congratulations, Jen. Woo! Today, if everyone in the USA paid $101, it would pay off our national debt. Just think of all the people that could do this. I think a good amount of us would gladly give up 100 We, But why do we want to pay off the national debt? Is the national debt... I don't know what the national debt is. Is the national debt the government debt or it's people's debt? 
Spiritual now more than religious, but no judgment of anyone else's beliefs. Correct, Isabel. Correct. Hello, nighttime. If I send a story with videos, you'd be able to show the videos as well. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. You read all the comments before and after my email titles. Damn it, Allie. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to scroll up. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. Hold on. There's a lot going on in here. Let me scroll up. Um, sometimes they don't come through. I'm not seeing any other com comments from you. I hear you, bud. I'm not seeing them. And that happens sometimes. Like anxiety is trying to tell me the name of theirs as well. And it's not coming up. It's pinned. I can't see the pinned comment. Hi, the people is the government. I love you so much, but you've been driving me crazy. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Say goodbye to Odin. He needs to go. Odin needs to go. Odin's been driving me nuts because he climbs all over my desk and he's like in my face and I can't do stuff and he keeps knocking shit over. So I had to kick him out. Okay, hold on. It is a big cat. Um, Kitty's getting banned. <laughs> Not you, Odin. My cat's name is Odin. <laughs> I believe, but I don't believe in everything. Don't think you have to to be in church, no judgment. Yes. <sighs> I'm trying to find Allie's thing. The tortillas have made an appearance. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> um, <sighs> Allie, please don't kill me. I don't see, I don't see your comments with the story names. Hold on, let me try to go on my phone or something. Uh, hold on. Hi, Melanie. I'm trying really hard, guys. You know, it is Mercury retrograde right now. Okay. You write your thing. Someone pin it. And I, I have my phone open so I can look at it. And anxiety, have you still not been able to? You know what, though, anxiety? I can totally. Yours is the, the Grim Reaper's warning because I know your email address. So never mind for you. I just need Allie's. <laughs> okay, let me look. Let me look through that. Let me look that up. Hold on. Grim Reaper's. Warning, Talistorosaurus. Talistoros, Talistorosaurus. Talistorosaurus. Got him. I found him. Woohoo. <laughs> okay. Talistorosaurus. Holy shit. Sorry. I'm so sorry, Allie. We got it. We got it now. Hello, Natasha. Hello, Natasha. 
This retrograde has been fucking with my shit. It has definitely been fucking with my shit. Oh, Eliza, you have one? Eliza, TikTok, crystals where? Only good thing about unique emails. <laughs> Hello, little one. Come here. Come say hi. Oh, look at this little baby. It's a little baby. It's Natasha, a little baby. You made waffles? Hi, Carrie. Hi, Auntie. Mm. Oh, look, it's you. Look, people are putting your, your emote in the chat. It's you. Aren't you so cute? You're looking so cute. She is beautiful, I know. She's my little baby. She's so tiny. She's full grown and she's so small. Boop that nose. Boop. Uh, do you want to get down? You can get down here. Okay. Cool. Okay, bye. Oh my god! I love listening to your glitch in the matrix stories when I go for walks in the evening. Does anyone else love to creep themselves out? <laughs> your personal best is improving? Yes! I didn't want to actually like boop on her nose. You're downloading Discord? Nice! We're having a tortilla. It's tortilla time. I'm very hungry. Your gray cat is huge. What kind of uh, what kind of cat is it? This one is a uh, Russian blue. She's supposed to be. I thought that she was supposed to be bigger. <laughs> um, what am I missing? Patience, thank you for the heart me. Courtney, thank you for the heart me and the team bracelets. Saucy, thank you for the cheer me up. Lauren, thank you for the heart me. Tina, thank you for the rose. It's a dog's life. Thank you for the high bears. Heart Clea, thank you for the heart puff. That cat's name, Brooke, is Cauliflower. Your great cat is small. Have a tortilla. Join me. It's tortilla time. I finally watched Supernatural and cried at the end like a big baby. It was amazing. Yes, it's so amazing. We're in the middle of our second run, and we're in season nine right now. So good. Go get your snacks if you're hungry. We can have snack time before we read. Cauliflower's in the other room. I'm speed walking in case the ghoulies get me. <laughs> Jen. <laughs> you just posted your eclipse photo? Hold on. So many good eclipse photos. Oh, that one's beautiful. These are so good. Hold on. Did someone say... Tortilla time. I love it, Brie. I love it, Brie. Just had ice cream. I now have a tortilla. Perfect. <laughs> oh my God, Mojo, don't you dare. Don't even say that phrase in this room. Don't you dare. He found me again. Here I am. You just sent yours in? JJ, what's the name of it? What's the name of it? That would be super great if I could... I don't know why I just thought of the lotto again. Oh, picture, not story. Mm, no worries, no worries. No worries at all. Mm. Your ginger kitty is begging for snacks. You're on season six. You never got past it, though. How come? I just restarted Supernatural. My dad thinks I'm crazy because I say everything word for word. How many times have you seen it, Felicia? I just finished binging Supernatural last night. Yes, I cried like a baby. I'm on season 14 of my first time through. I am not ready for it to end. I was not ready either, either Brie. And they do a good job of ending it, but it's still really sad. 
I didn't want to last the I didn't want to watch the last one. I had to stop watching for a while. These lives affected me something strange after I had my baby. Really? If you want to send stories, friends, you can send them to antimatrix at gmail.com. I just popped it on the screen for TikTok, and one of the mods can please pop it into the chat on YouTube. Look up the alphabet by Dean. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Do you have time to make ice cream? Yeah, you have a couple minutes. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> This is your fourth restart. Nice. Ooh, Darby, I can't wait to hear it. S is for Sammy. Of course it is. Sammy! <laughs> no, we don't have a closing date yet. Natasha's playing. I hung out with a group of 42 dogs today. T is for that was scary. <laughs> we didn't even start stories yet, Lorax. We will we will be reading them soon. Hello, Adrian. I could just join you and tell my stories, but I stumble through them when talking. So never mind. <laughs> I understand that. How do I get emotes? If you'd like to get the emotes, you need to be a TikTok live subscriber or a YouTube member, depending on which platform you are on. Um, you get a badge next to your name and you get all those emotes. Can someone please put all the emotes in the chats for everyone to see? Um, and you also get my undying love and devotion. <laughs> for TikTok, you click on the star somewhere. I don't remember if someone could let them know to subscribe. And YouTube, um, there is a link that you can click because I don't know how to get anywhere else. But here is the member link for YouTube. Thank you for the emotes, my friends. Haven't started even. She just chats first and plays. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the drawing game. Tortilla time. You want to see the Jess and Jess show? <laughs> <laughs> the Jess and Jess show. Natasha's playing by herself back there. She's such a cutie. Tortilla with peanut butter. Nice. Nice, Keisha. Woo -woo. Me? Do you know why I like tortillas? Because I have stomach issues. And bread is a great snack for my stomach. It's, um, it's, I know, like, I mean, who doesn't like to eat bread, first of all? And second of all, it's just, it's something that I can eat that I know will not bother my stomach. If anything, it makes me, my stomach feel better. Not that I'm having a problem right now, but that's why I really like to eat tortillas as a snack. Oh my God, Lauren. Mmm. There's some hiccup tricks. I'm trying to remember the hiccup trick. Does it help with heartburn? It helps with my heartburn. Tortillas are yummy. Tropical smoothie has a pita with peanut butter, honey, banana, and granola. That sounds good. That sounds yummy. Speaking of smoothies, I was having a smoothie during the uh, during the movie that I made myself. I love to make these smoothies myself. They're so easy. All I do for my smoothies is I put frozen fruit, whichever one I want. So it's normally it's normally strawberries and blueberries, and sometimes I add mango. Sometimes I do other fruit, but I just put some um, frozen strawberries, frozen blueberries in the blender. I put a little agave, 
to sweeten it up. And then I literally just put water in there and that's it. Blend it up. Boom. Delicious. You recently started having tummy issues. I'm so sorry, Darby. I am so sorry, Darby. Stranger Things is out. <gasps> Wait, the new, is there a new season of Stranger Things out? I had that, I have issue with my stomach going on, going on six months, Miss Murder. Oh, I get it, man. Oh, not six months, six weeks. <laughs> yes, mint, mint is one of the worst things you can have for GERD. Yep, mint and chocolate were two things that I was very surprised to learn were very bad for GERD, and I thought I was helping. So, because, you know, mint is really good for other stomach issues, and I had other stomach issues, and I'd be chewing mint gum and having mint because mint is supposed to be really good for your stomach, but I was actually really aggravating my GERD. <laughs> Avocado banana smoothies. I've never tried that. Pineapple, mango, and banana makes a yummy smoothie. I've tried drinking water, holding my breath at all. Uh, did you try the... I can't do fire cider. The fire cider actually aggravates aggravates in here. Aggravates my GERD. Uh, hiccup tricks. Everyone put your hiccup tricks in the chat. For Lauren. Lauren, uh, one hiccup trick is to... Glass of water and you put a paper towel or a napkin on the top of it and then you want to drink through the paper towel so you have to kind of like suck the water through and drink as much as you can keep drinking oh that stinks amy you're on a rice and bread diet right now funsies been there <laughs> spoonful of sugar a couple people are saying Take a sip of water, hold it in your mouth, bend over and swallow. Okay, try that one. Drink upside down. For me, it's wrong side of the glass, upside down drinking. Wrong side of the glass, upside down drinking works every time. A spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. The medicine go down. Medicine go down. Tilt head over and drink from the top. What did I just walk into? <laughs> Lauren has, someone has the hiccups and we're trying to give them ideas to get rid of the hiccups. <laughs> are you, why are you asking what girth is? Girth is thickness, basically. Saying I'm not a fish repeatedly actually works. It actually does. That one doesn't work for me, but I've heard that one before. Upside down water works every time. The best hiccup trick, chug a bottle of water laying on your back. Lean your head over past the bed. I feel like I would choke. <laughs> you meant GERD. <laughs> GER, G-E-R-D, is gastrointestinal reflux disease or something like that. <laughs> GERD is a water upside down on the edge of the bed worked. Woo! All right. Thank you, everyone, for their uh, gastroesophageal reflux disease. Thank you, Curtis. Thank you, Curtis. It's basically chronic acid reflux, but like really bad. <laughs> Girth. Someone told me to, to ask what comes out of a chimney. They say smoke and they stop. It worked for me. Really? Interesting. Gerd gives you hiccups too. Fennel tea for gastritis. Fennel tea, I'll have to remember that one, Leah. Applesauce helps with GERD. Yes, yes. Bananas help my GERD also. Bananas. <laughs> my dad can ask you questions about the last time you saw a rabbit. This is reminding me of like when and make hiccup stop. That's so weird, Ashley. Hey, Margie. Um, I, that reminds me of when I go, when we go camping and we're around a campfire, if the smoke is in your face, you're supposed to say that you love rabbits and it's supposed to go away. And it works a lot of the time. <laughs> 
Castor oil for all tummy problems. You know what else also helps? You mean on the outside, don't eat it, right? You put it on your stomach. Also helps is I, uh, I put magnesium oil spray on my belly too and it helps my tummy. It is strange, right? I just remind myself it's diaphragm spasms and I hold my breath to make it still. Works every time he can make it rain when it's supposed to be sunny too. That's so cool. Hello, Anna. I have two prescribed drugs for GERD. Yep, omeprazole and salpraz. Yep, yep, yep. You can do both with castor oil as long as it stays, says edible. I know, but doesn't like ingesting castor oil make you like poop your pants a million times? <laughs> Magnesium spray. We haven't started with the stories yet, no. You were told to say white rabbits, white rabbits for smoke. Oregano and garlic tea for tummy problems. Ooh. <laughs> yes, it does, Andy. Yes. That's what I thought. I use magnesium spray every day, too. I put it on my belly and on the tops of my feet every day. And um, under my arms for deodorant. Wait, I learned that the hard way with dried apricots. Wait, what? I missed something, definitely. My mom used to say, smoke follows beauty. <laughs> yes. It's okay. Mint worsens acid reflux. Yes, it does. Same, Emily. I have it as well. Actually, you know what? It hasn't really bothered me in a long time, so I'm going to say that I don't have it anymore. Just to put that out in the universe. But yes, mint and chocolate too. Caffeine too. No, mint is bad for GERD. It's bad. I put magnesium on my calf muscles for cramps. It really works for a lot of things. What happened to the glitch in your last video? Which video? Which which one did you see last? Which video are you talking about, Mrs. Mayor? You're here to join the Stomach Issues Club? <laughs> too much sugar? Yes, too much sugar as well. <gasps> Anna, thank you so much for the couch potato. I appreciate it. <laughs> Victoria, what do you mean? Do you mean in like a, a good fun way? Or is that something else that I don't know what you're talking about? <laughs> oh man, good luck, Leah. Good luck. Almond milk works for my GERD is acting up since it's alkaline drink. It neutralizes the acid. Interesting, Emily. That was really cool, right? It was an electronic sound. Oh, I, it was just happening on TikTok. TikTok keeps doing weird shit with my videos. That was happening and then they keep adding music. TikTok keeps adding music to my videos. I'm not adding it. Are you able to hang out on the 23rd on my live? <laughs> That's a long way away. I'm going to say, are you talking to me, by the way? Or are you talking to other Jess, Katie Joe? I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you maybe. And the reason I'm telling you maybe is I'm literally in the middle of packing moving, painting, doing all these things for the new house. I have so much going on. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I like literally, and it's in the middle of birthday season for me, which means uh, like literally everyone in my family has birthdays. So every weekend I have things too. It's in, it's crazy. So any, I'm trying my best. So I, maybe. <laughs> maybe we call it we call it birthday season so I'm gonna say maybe hopefully I can come join you but I'm not sure I'm so sorry thank you so much for understanding when do you close I'm not sure we don't have a closing date yet but it's supposed to be like very soon The fun way. Woo, Victoria. Nice girl. <laughs> Congratulations. All the Taurus and Geminis. April's a busy birthday month for my entire family on my husband's side too. Yes, it's crazy. You have a birthday season too? Yes, thank you for understanding. <laughs> um, Orange, you have a story. Orange. What is the name of your story, Orange? My birthday is May 3rd also. Yes. <laughs> I'm part of the birthday season. Creepy dream. 
Creepy Dream, you are number six on the list. You have two birthday seasons. We really just have one birthday season and then we have like random other birthdays, but it starts in March. It's, let's say, ready? Uh, it's my mom, then it's Palm Sunday, then it's Easter, then it's my dad, then it's my sister, then it's me, then it's um, Uncle Matrix's sister, Uncle Matrix's dad, um, Uncle Matrix's son, then my daughter. I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's it. But it literally just keeps going. Is goals and goals. Robin, thank you for the heart me. So every single weekend, every Saturday, I have something, which means I have only on Sunday to on the Sundays to do stuff. Um, and there's so much to be done. There's so much to be done. All good things, but so much to be done. My birthday season starts in August and ends in March. I can't even if I listed everything that needs to be done, we'd be here all night. My daughter is not a Taurus. My daughter is in, born in June. She is a Gemini, I believe. May 29th to July 17th, we have 21 birthdays, all immediate family. Oh my God, that's crazy. Yes, if if you saw a, uh, a glitchy video, Mrs. Mayor, I have all the glitchy ones I have reposted, I think. I think. Maybe I didn't repost that one because it wasn't glitchy for me. I haven't started reading yet, no. Hey, Gemini. Fellow Gemini here. Gemini. We pretty much have a birthday once a month, so it's spread out pretty well. Okay, that's not so bad. That's why, honestly, I don't even have 21 immediately family members. <laughs> same, 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 same. Like, honestly... I I love, you know, s seeing everyone and celebrating and stuff, but it is a lot sometimes. So my favorite month of the year is always January because there's nothing. <laughs> January is like the only month where there's nothing. There's no holidays. There's no birthdays that I have to go celebrate. It's like the only month where it's nothing. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> It's crazy. You're so cute. I want to be your supporter. Let's become TikTok friends. Hello, Julia. Welcome. <laughs> we have four within three days of each other in September. We all hate cake by the end. Yes. Back for 10 more minutes. Don't have to leave just yet. Yes. If anyone else on the Discord, if you have any tips on tapering sleep meds, let me know. Oh, I don't even have 21 people in my entire extended family. <laughs> Jealous of the big family people. New here. Hello. Welcome, Soraya. Welcome, welcome. Sue Annie, thank you so much for welcoming people. You can celebrate me in January. <laughs> no, Kelly. <laughs> New Year's already happened, technically. Like, that's just January 1st, and then we're done. But it's really December 31st, right? Uncle Matrix is a Pisces. <laughs> I love you so much, Kelly, but I, I'm good. I need one month where there's no birthdays. <laughs> I mean, technically, I don't have any birthdays in July or August, but there's other things going on then. It's also, you know, you're home, right? Like, we're home because it's cold out and you get to just, like, be home and alone, which is nice. You're a Pisces, too. You have two Pisces. Don't be jealous. I'm the youngest of 13 siblings. Holy smokes, Marcy. Holy smokes. Friends on TikTok, we are also live on YouTube. If you're interested in coming there, I am Auntie Matrix on YouTube. We are going to be starting stories in just a few minutes. We're going to play the drawing game, which is like Pictionary, the same thing. But we call it the drawing game. And then we're going to start our stories. We have six stories written down. We have room for four more stories for tonight. If anyone has more stories, please let me know. I will write you down. There are four more spots on the list for tonight. Hello, Kiwi. Right on time. 13, how old is her oldest sibling? How old is your oldest sibling, Marcy? They're asking. That was for the drawing game, Brooke. Woo! Back for bedtime stories. I don't celebrate anything. I don't call on my family. It's great. 
You don't celebrate anything? Why not? Dahlia, thank you so much for all the team bracelets. Friends on TikTok, please make sure you are tapping that screen. We are trying to get to this many likes, whatever it is. I don't even remember. It's supposed to be 500,000, but we had to like make it less because we had already gotten more. Tap that screen, please. Share the live. And if you have team gifts, those are the best gifts to send. Um, they really help to push the live out. Um, we need 20 more subs for the sub goal, which I'm not expecting to get. I'm just letting you know where we are. And we need... Five more couch potatoes for the gift goal. And that is it, my friend. Shuna, thank you so much for the cheer you up. Keep scrolling me away when I try to tap. Oh my God, that happens all the time. Lauren, 355K, thank you so much. Felt, I celebrate my kids' birthdays. I got excluded for Easter. Oh. Hello, Melinda. My friend has 15 kids, no multiples. It's so impressive. 15? When did they start having children? I hope very young. Hello, lit mommy. Thank you for the team bracelets and the cheer you ups, Chief and Lauren. Okay, Marcy said the oldest is 57 and I'm 36. Whoo, that is crazy, Marcy. That is so crazy. Technically, you have 17. Oh, yeah, technically you have 17. Jess. Saves me so much money. That's true. That's very true. I'm not in Australia, no. I'm on Long Island, New York, the U.S. of A, unfortunately, sometimes. Um, I do have family in Australia. I interviewed a girl today who is 14 and her oldest sibling is 34. There's 12 of them. That's so crazy. You didn't miss any stories, no. This energy been zapping you at the moment? Do a lot of people think I'm Australian? I don't sound Australian at all. We're eating one more tortilla. Then we'll do the drawing game and we'll read. All right. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. Haley, thank you for your idea before restarting the TikTok live because it's much better. <laughs> Very long island. You're Australian. I can't even do an Aussie accent. I honestly really can't. You think I sound Jersey? Get out of here. Get out of here with that. <laughs> I've never had fried ice cream. Tonya, you're the youngest of 10 on your dad's side. That's crazy. Turn on Bluey there, Aussie. Hmm. I sound very East Coast. Mm, sorry, I'm just eating my um my tortilla. Yes, it is, Jess Kelly. <laughs> Jess Kelly said that's a huge insult to a New Yorker to tell me I'm from New Jersey. It is. And it's nothing against people that live in New Jersey. But it, for a New Yorker, that it's like, ew, I'm not from New Jersey. <laughs> How many are on TikTok now? 273. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mojo. Ugh, my husband won't stop calling me. I'm trying to hang out with my friends. <laughs> Crystal, you don't have to apologize at all. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I went on a cruise as a teen and was told they sounded like I was from California. That shocked me. The drawing game will be as soon as I'm done with this tortilla. We'll play the drawing game. I never understood the New Jersey, New York beef. You know what? I honestly don't understand it either. I was just brought up to know that we're supposed to be better. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't understand it. And we're not but that's that's how I was raised <laughs> I have three families I'm a different type of kid in each mm. 
I'm Southern and I can definitely hear your accent. My accent? I know I have an accent. Bye, Leah. Love you so much. I'm from Long Island, so I get it. Yes. Uh... <laughs> My mom refuses to move to Jersey. I would never move to Jersey. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just wouldn't. It's the same beef like California and Texas. I didn't know California and Texas had beef. They do? You're from New Orleans and people sometimes say New York City. That's interesting. I have 13 siblings. Bio mom had five, dad had five, and adoptive <clears throat> dad and stepmom have five. Wow. Hi, Tara. You have not missed any yet. As a Californian, I can say it does suck. <laughs> Me as a Jersey girl here. Sorry, Simone. There's nothing wrong with you. There's not. I have no logical, no logical reasons for feeling that way. It was just like literally, it's it's one of those things that you're taught when you're a kid. And it's just in there. Pretty sure everyone has beef with Cali. Why? Oh, a certain demographic in Texas has beef with Californians. I can see that. I'm Ohio, born and raised, Dayton area. I get told constantly I have a Tennessee twang. California and Utah have beef. Hey, I live in Jersey. <laughs> nothing against you at all, Annie. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, I'm from New Jersey. There's nothing wrong with New Jersey at all. I can't tell you why. You probably don't like New York either, right? It's like a New Jersey and New York have beef and we don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> I have no why. No idea why. <laughs> Mm. Where's all this Cali beef coming from? I don't know, man. Hey, Joni. It all started on the day New Jersey was formed. A part of New York. I mean, I'm, a, I'm on Long Island. Yes, Rainbow, I am on YouTube as well. I did watch the eclipse today. I went to the park. And I meditated and stuff and watched the eclipse. It was really, really nice. I really enjoyed it. Hello from Scotland. Hello, Jen. The same place <laughs> New Jersey, New York beef came from. Montanans don't like Cali either. Oh, you were? Mama, where were you? How long you... How are you doing? I am new to your live. I just... Oh. Kanisha, hi and welcome. I'm sorry about losing your mom. Everyone's hating on Callie. No, you haven't missed any stories. <laughs> You're welcome, Maris. <laughs> weird question, but do you know the Long Island medium? I do not. It's not a weird question. I do not personally know her. I have never met her. I was on her list. For, I've been on her list for many years. I don't think I'm ever getting a meeting with her. But Uncle Matrix has a friend that he used to work with. When I met him, he was currently working with that person. And that friend, um, Long Island Medium, Teresa Caputo, is his aunt. That's his friend's aunt. And when I met him and he told me that, I was like, can I meet her? And he was like, no. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm from Chicago. We have no hate on Cali. Yes. I think B started, started when New York started building in New Jersey because nothing fits in New York City. <laughs> We're reading stories in a second. I was just eating. I love Teresa. I would love to meet her too. Yes. Okay, Katie Joe. 
My boyfriend went to a group reading of hers and was picked. Oh, connected to his brother. Oh my God, that's amazing. Teresa's coming to our Performing Arts Center to do a show. Oh my God, that is so cool. Lauren, thank you for the cheer me ups and the team bracelet. Rara, thank you for the heart puffs and the rose amazing squirreling not eating i am eating <laughs> i am eating okay youtube i'm gonna give you an ad and then after that we're gonna do the drawing game blue skies thank you so much for the love you that was beautiful here we go tell me what you get i have a friend who's pretty popular and people always ask me for his autograph if i can get them a meeting never gonna happen who is it you can't just say that and not tell us who it is Who's your popular friend? Oh, Tara. I'm so glad you came on tonight. I'm sitting at a tiki bar, eating great food on the water, drinking and celebrating my birthday. Happy birthday. That sounds amazing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tara. Happy birthday to you and many more. I hope you have such a good birthday. That sounds amazing. Never. You have more than one. Ew. <laughs> That's not nice to tease us like that and not tell us who. <laughs> I did get to see the eclipse. Yes. I've met a ton of so-called stars. I never asked for autographs. It's weird. They are just people. I don't think it's weird. They are definitely just people. You're right. But also, they're people that I've seen on TV and I want their autograph. <laughs> hey, NYC. Okay, Turner. <laughs> from the south no it wasn't 100 percent eclipse for me it was like uh i think it was like 89 percent you were in 100 percent. if you guys didn't see in the discord people are sharing their dis their uh eclipse pictures and they're really really cool if you're not in the discord and you want to join please join it is dsc.gg slash anti-matrix tiktok i have just put it on the screen youtube can one of the mods just pop it in the chat come join us in discord we have over 1800 people in there um they're putting eclipse pic pictures in there which is cool there's some really good ones. Um, you can hang out with like-minded people and also you can get announcements from me on like when I go live, when I drop a YouTube video or merch or anything like that. So please come join us in the Discord. Also TikTok. You know what? Let me just do my whole spiel now. Let's do the whole spiel. Then we'll do the drawing game and then I'll read. I have six stories to read and I have room for four more. If we don't get the four more, I will just pick random ones. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I love that you're using the eight ball. Hello and welcome. If you're new here, my name is Jess. People call me Anti Matrix, and I read your weird, unexplainable stories. Um, we're gonna read some of those on live today. I normally take read about ten stories every live. I have six people stories written down here in here. I have room for four more. So if you have a story um, and you want me to potentially read it, just let me know in the chat what the name of the story is. You sent me an email today, Kiwi. What is the name of your story? I'll write you down. You will be number seven. If you want to email me a story and you don't know how, you can send it here to antimatrix at gmail .com. Um. You'll type it in one second. Okay. No worries. No worries. Um, you sent an email a while ago. What is the name of your story, Low Edits? You will be number eight. Ba ba bum. We're getting more stories. Blue Skies, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate you. Welcome to the Glitch community. TikTok, please welcome Blue Skies to the Glitch community. Friends on TikTok, other people, if you would like to become a TikTok Live subscriber or YouTube, if you would like to become a YouTube member, you can do so. TikTok, you have to click the little star on the screen and YouTube, uh, you have to go to this link right here that I'm going to put in the chat. 
If you become a TikTok Live subscriber or a YouTube member, you get a little badge next to your name that says OMG with eyeballs. You get access to, uh, I think it's like 21 emotes that you can use that are just for subscribers and members. Um, and you get a special role in Discord. You sent your story, Tippy. Tippy's mama. What's the name of your story? Oils, my guardian angels. Okay, I'm going to write that down. Um, hold on a second. I'm just going to write these all down. Ba bum. Ba -ba -bum. Brooke, thank you so much for sending a subscription. I appreciate, I mean, sending a membership. I appreciate you. Mandy, you got a membership from Brooke. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Glitch community, uh, Mandy. Okay, low edits. Your story is chilling power. Yes, John, you're back. Julie, I have not read them yet. We are on our way. We're about to start. It's orbs in the home. Ooh, with videos. Orbs in the home. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Carrie, hello and welcome to your first live. So yes, there we go. Uh, you can be a TikTok live subscriber or a YouTube member. Speaking of that, uh, TikTok, we are also live on YouTube. So if you want to come over to YouTube, the quality is a little bit better and you'll be able to see the stories on the screen. Um, I am Anti Matrix over on YouTube if you want to come over. Also, TikTok, you should come subscribe to YouTube even if you're not going to watch there because this live is recorded and the uh, recorded version will be posted on YouTube probably tomorrow so that you can see all the stories that you missed. You can rewatch. Um, they'll be labeled in the description, et cetera, et cetera. Plus, I drop YouTube videos and stuff, so you should definitely subscribe subscribe to YouTube. It's anti-matrix. Missy, thank you so much for sending a subscription. Rodolfo, you got a subscription. Congratulations. Welcome to the Glitch community. And Missy, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And Shauna, thank you for the heart puff. And Colleen, thank you for the heart me. Ooh. You know that I'm doing stories on Eclipse Day? Nice. Yes, Graveyard Part 2 is already up. It was the other live from the other night. So go to the live section and you'll be able to find it. It will be labeled in the description. Thank you very much. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? We talked about that. We talked about that. Um, if you want to send stories, you can send them to antimatrix at gmail.com. TikTok is on the screen. YouTube, somebody will probably put it in the chat for you. Turner, thank you so much for popping these in here. Um, what else? What else? Oh, if you want to send me anything, you can send it to my P.O. box. If you click on the link in my bio, it's tessicavision.com. It has all of my links to all the things I'm talking about, including Discord, including the email, and also including my P.O. box if you'd like to send me anything. Um, and I think that's it, right? Is that it, you guys? Is that like totally it? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's totally it. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do before we read, though, thank you so much for subscribing. Oh, merch. I do have merch. That's linked in my bio, too. Thank you so much, JJ, for reminding me of that. I also have Anti-Matrix merch. Um, nice tricks. Congratulations and welcome to your first live. Don't get scammed. Yes, TikTok. This is my only account. I mean, it's really not, but it's the only account I ever post on. And... I will never, ever, never, ever DM you and tell you that I have a reading for you and try to make you give me money. I will never do that. I don't do readings and I would never do that. So if someone does that, it's not me. Report them and tell them to go fuck themselves. Okay, great. Um, okay, so before we start reading these lovely stories, we are going to play the drawing game to kick things off, which is super fun. It's really just Pictionary. So let me just get it open and get it started. And then we will do that and we will start to read. Thank you everyone who has been hanging with me since 6 p.m. today when we had our movie night. And welcome if you're just coming in now. I am. There we go. I'm just getting my drawing game ready. 
All right, game time, game time. TikTok, do we have game time out? Yes, we do. Yes, we did a movie night before. At 6 p.m., we watched a uh, Little Shop of Horrors. We tried to watch it on YouTube also, but YouTube kicked me off. I don't know why, because it is public domain, but that's okay. But we watched it on TikTok. Um, this is why it's another really good idea to be in the Discord, because I did announce in Discord that we were going to do that. And I will always announce things in Discord, and you'll get a notification on your phone. So it's a super great idea to be in Discord. If you don't remember what it is, it is dsc.gg slash antimatrix. TikTok is on the screen. And YouTube, it is... Whoops. In the chat. Okay. Pictionary word generator. Are we ready? What are we going to get? Hmm. <laughs> How would I draw that? Okay, we're going to try this. We're going to try it. I always say that we're going to try something and you guys are not going to get it. And you guys always get it. So here we go. Wait, I do lashes and force my clients to listen when you're live. <laughs> Honey bee, that's amazing. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. I feel like you're really not going to get this one. Okay. Uh, hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. We're drawing... That is not how you draw that, Jessica. <laughs> that is not how you draw that. Hold on. <laughs> um. Okay. How about this? Is this helping? <laughs> um, no. Oh, you guys. Uh, okay. How else can I? Uh, what if I did this? Does that help? Look at the hat. Oh, somebody got it on TikTok. Somebody got it on TikTok. One person got it on TikTok. Look at the hat. <laughs> that I don't know if it's right. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe only one person <laughs> is getting it. Do you guys want the answer? I don't know what else to do for it. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to tell you. Yes, we want it. Okay, the answer is siesta. I tried to draw like a sombrero, but it's not good. And I tried showing you it was like in the middle of the day. <laughs> Someone on TikTok got it. Who got it on TikTok? <laughs> I tried. It's a siesta is like a nap that you take in the middle of the day, but I feel like it's a isn't it it's a Spanish word, right? <laughs> I would have never guessed that. Yeah, it's Spanish, yes, for nap. <laughs> I don't know. It's the only thing I could think of. I think about movies where there's they're taking a siesta and it's always like, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I tried, you guys. <laughs> I took a siesta and I overslept. I think the people who said nap should get this one. I guess. Low edits, why do you keep putting that face? What's with that face? <laughs> Okay, if you said nap, you can have it, I guess. If you want. If you want to have if you want to have it. 
I tried, guys. Okay. Um, you should have warned us it was in another language. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> I think we should definitely all take siestas. I know it wasn't a sombrero. Okay, I can't draw, guys. I can't draw. <laughs> All right. Uh, these are hard. Wait, I'm going to change it to... Okay, uh, let's try this one. This one is way easier. You guys can get this. Okay, ready? Let's go. Number two. Number two. Yeah, you guys are going to get this one easy peasy lemon squeezy. Woo! <laughs> yeah, we all know it. This one is volleyball. This was volleyball. Good job, my friends. All right, let's get the next one. Oh, Katie Joe. <gasps> Oh, that was so beautiful. Thank you for that enchanted guitar. Aww. Thank you for your generosity. Okay. You played volleyball on a league for years. I love volleyball. I never played it on like a team, but I literally used to play it. We used to play it at every, every party we had. I love volleyball. That's my favorite game to play. I haven't been able to play it in years because I don't have anywhere to play it. I don't have anyone to play it with, but I miss it. I was in chorus too. I was in chorus from third grade until I graduated. All right. Last one. Last one that we read. I'm sorry. This word that is coming up is beluga whale. How would I let you know that it was a beluga whale? <laughs> How would I know? Mm, yeah. Okay. All right, we'll try this one. Here we go. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> yes, some of you are getting it. Woo, some of you are getting it. Some of you are getting it. I don't know why I'm making them yellow, but that's okay. I mean, I know they can be all different colors, right? I don't think they're yellow, though. Are they yellow? Yeah, some of them are yellow. They're depicted as yellow, like a rubber one is yellow. You guys are getting it. Ooh, the answer was chicken coop. Chicken coop. Let me know how many did you get? I suppose we're saying the first one could be nap. How many did you get? If you did not get them all right, which ones did you not get right? And we are going to get ready to read. Okay, friends. Our first story is Wolf and is an update on Kiki's playmate. Wolf, are you still here, my darling? That cowboy nap was fair. <laughs> Half a point for chicken and not chicken coop. Ooh. Oh, Davin. Ooh, thank you so much for the couch potato. Uh, we don't have a closing date yet, Mary. I'm not sure. You're counting hen house is correct. Yeah, that's the same thing, right? 
I just want to make sure that Wolf is still here. Wolf, are you still? You are here. There you are. I saw you. Sorry. I missed. I missed you. Okay. So Kiki's Playmate update. Let's find it. Let's find it. Update on Kiki's Playmate. Devin, thank you for the heart me. And Donna, thank you for the rose. And Kelly, thank you for the rose. All right, we are starting this. St oh, do you guys want to know the lineup? Let me give you the lineup before we start reading. Okay, the lineup for tonight's stories is as follows. First, we have Wolf with Kiki's Playmate update. Then we have Allie on TikTok with a couple of stories. I think there's actually two of them. I can't remember the names of them because I have an email address here, but there's two of them. Then um, then we have number three, we have Candy on TikTok, Paranormal Experiences. Number four, we have Anxiety on TikTok, The Grim Reaper's Warning. Number five, we have Eliza on TikTok. I think it says Crystal's Wear. My handwriting's really bad. Uh, number six, we have Orange on TikTok, Creepy Dream. Number seven, we have Kiwi on YouTube, Oils, Guardian Angels, and something else. Um, number eight, we have Love Edits on YouTube, Chilling Power. Number nine, we have Tippy's Mama on TikTok with orbs in the house. And there are videos with that one. And we do have room for one more story. Oh, thanks, Chris. I just, I did an ad break before we started all that other stuff. So I'm going to wait a little bit, but thank you so much for reminding me. You've never been right on time for the first story reading. I am starting late. I'm starting 30 minutes later than I normally do with reading stories because we were just chatting for a super long time. Um, okay. Um, Donna, thank you for the heart bus. Davin, thank you for the team bracelets. Donna, thank you for the friendship necklace. Kelly, thank you for the heart me. Donna, thank you for the high bear and the high bear. Davin, oh, oh, that was so pretty. Thank you so much for the Ferris wheel. Oh, I appreciate you. That was beautiful. Lindsay, thank you for the heart me. You guys are amazing tonight with the gifts and I appreciate you. First time for story time. What kind of stories is it? These stories are people's weird, unexplainable stories. A lot of them are creepy. Um, Some of them are sweet. And TikTok, please keep tapping that screen. We're at 146,000 likes. We are at 41% of our likes. If we hit the like goal that you see on the screen, we do add another story. And also on top of that, we need four more couch potatoes for the gift goal. The end. Okay. We're starting Kiki's Playmate update at 151.50. Here we go. Short update story. Quick backstory. When my daughter was two and a half, she used to play with someone in her room that she called the tall man. Come to find out from our landlord that a biker with the heart of gold named Tiny passed away in the house and was around six five. Almost 10 years later, we were no longer, I'm sorry, almost 10 years later, we never, <laughs> Jessica, get it together. Almost 10 years later, we no longer live in that house, but the house next door. Oh, you live right next door. Kiki doesn't remember much from the old house, but she came to me the other day and to say, I think the man from next door comes over here and looks after me. At night, I see a face in the corner of the room. And when my door opens, it goes away. She said she didn't get any bad feelings from it, but like he's watching out for her. That's I'm so glad she's getting good feelings. When she said this, it made me think of a few times her baby brother, who is currently two and a half, looks up and gives a loud giggle and acts like someone is playing or chasing him. He doesn't talk much as we think he might be on the spectrum. I understand this is him being a toddler. I understand this is just him being a toddler and pretend playing. However, when he does this, I don't see anyone there. I just get a strange feeling that I know someone is standing there, as when you know someone is looking or standing behind you in public. I don't get any bad vibes, just the feeling that it is tiny. They always say bikers are sometimes unofficial guardian angels for children. Really? I've never heard that before. Sadly, we will be moving in the next few weeks and told Kiki it might be a good idea to tell Tiny goodbye and thanks for looking af out after you and your brother. Just know there is always someone watching. The end. The end. The end. Um, 
I love that Tiny was hanging out. Sweet, you guys moved right next door from the other house and then Tiny was following you over there. I'm so glad that he was taking care of them though. That was very sweet. Right, so sweet. I mean, there literally are motorcycle groups for anti-child abuse. I had no idea, Simone. That's actually really cool. I had no idea. Yup, that's so crazy. And I love that your two and a half year old is seeing him too. Oh, thank you so, so much for sharing your story. I appreciate you sending your update. Um, We are gonna vote, did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube. And happy face or sad face on TikTok. Woo! Aw, what a little cute story. Oh my God, by the way, holy smokes. One, two, three, four. Davin, thank you so much for sending five subscriptions. I appreciate you so much. Jenna Kay got a subscription. Crystal got a subscription. Helen Joy got a subscription. Jean the Mama and Colleen got a subscription. Oh, and Davin sent another subscription. Thank you so much, Davin. Elle got a subscription and Erica Jones. Erica Jones, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you too. You guys are so generous and wonderful tonight, and I really, really super appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. They will show up to court cases with the child if requested. Wow, Simone, that's really cool. Makeba, hold on, Makeba. I think I saw you up here. Makeba, Makeba from YouTube, you will be number 10. What is the name of it? What's the name of your story, my darling? A boy being bullied real bad. A biker gang in our area took him to school in hopes of stopping it. Really? They go to court with kids when they need to be in the same room as their abusers. That is amazing. Yes, we got all the stories we need for tonight. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, Star. You haven't stopped having your hand hurts. Kelly, thank you so much for sharing the live a bunch of times. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What is this? What was that? Well, Kelly, uh, if we if we hit the like goal, maybe you can be that one. Maybe, maybe, baby. Shadow Man update. All right, you are number ten, my darling. Okay. We are going to go on to the next one. Thank you so much for sharing the update. I appreciate that. Dion, thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the Glitch community on YouTube. YouTube, please welcome Dion. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And TikTok, if we haven't already, please welcome all of our new subscribers from Davin. I was tapping so hard I almost reported you. I do that all the time. <laughs> I do that all the time. My parents hung out with bikers for a while and I always felt super safe with them. Oh, that's so nice. That's so awesome. Okay, our next story is Allie from TikTok. Allie, are you still here, my darling? Please let me know that you're still here. There's actually two stories that I'm reading for Allie. Oh my God. Oh, Persevere. Thank you so much for gifting five memberships. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Lorray got a membership and Brie and John and Anastasia and Chell. Thank you so, so much. It was so generous. I appreciate you guys. Holy smokes. You guys are amazing today. My goodness. Yes. Welcome new members. Okay. Tally. Torosaurus. All right, there's two. There's Jack the Ripper victim and interesting encounters with spirits. Let's start with Jack. So you guys are actually getting an extra story. Jack, Jack, <laughs> Jack the Ripper victim. Let's start with that one. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, 
for anyone that's asking how you get gifted, gifted memberships or subscriptions, it's random. So if people decide, well, you can always obviously subscribe yourself or become a member yourself. But if somebody gifts subscriptions or gifts, gifts memberships, they go to random people in the room. So you just have to be here. Do you ever gift memberships? I can't. I don't think I can. All right, here we go. Jack the Ripper victim, we're starting at 159.25. Oh, Katie Cho is a baby dragon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. My goodness. I'm the, oh, Davin, the Zodiac wheel. Thank you so much. Thank you, Katie, for heart puffs. Oh my goodness, you guys are amazing tonight. Holy crap, thank you so much, guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for your generosity tonight. Okay, I lied, we're starting now at 2.00.03. Okay, here we go. Hi, Team Matrix. Hi. I have always had a recurring dream from the time I was a kid. I was a woman with long red hair curled and pinned up and a long 1800s gown. I was running down an alley in an old area with cobblestones from a man with a long cloak and a top hat. Then it goes black and I wake up in a room chained to a bed where I am assaulted. An untimely pass. I've had this dream as long as I can remember. I feel my chest pounding and sweat on my skin in the cool breeze. I can feel the weight of my skirts I have to lift up to run. I feel cold metal on my skin and the warmth of this man's breath on my skin and in my ear as he talks to me, telling me to be quiet. The odd part about this was when I was married, my ex-husband and I watched a documentary on Jack the Ripper where they showed the streets he had victims. It was the same street I was running down in my dream. When I was watching this, it felt familiar like home, oddly, and I've never been to Europe, but it felt like I had been there. Weirder, I had this dream twice a year, and since then, I haven't had it. It's like I learned who killed me, and now I don't need to see my death anymore. <gasps> oh my God, that's crazy. The end, by the way, that's crazy. I was like, okay, this is just going to be a weird dream. And then that happened. I feel like you were definitely seeing a past life. I feel like you were definitely seeing a past life. And then, like you said, maybe you figured out, oh, that's who it was. And then you stopped seeing it. Yes, past life regression. I'm so sorry you're a victim of his. I'm glad you're back, though. Yes. That was really cool. Past life, 100% past life. Okay, let us vote on this one. And then we're going to read the other one from this person. Thank you so much for sharing that. That was really cool. Did you appreciate that? It was crazy. My ex-husband thought I was crazy. We don't think you're crazy. We believe you, Allie. We believe you. Hello, Lids. Did we, uh, did you, uh, I can't type tonight. Did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube? Happy face or sad face on TikTok. Woo, and hold it on one second. Shirley, thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the Glitch community. Um, YouTube, please welcome Shirley. I think you've already welcomed her. Thank you so much. Could you figure out what your name was from the documentary Melanie is asking? That's actually a really great question, Allie. Did you figure out what your name was from the documentary? Marilyn, thank you for the rose. Here's a little theory. I personally think someone in that person's bloodline was killed by Jack the Ripper, so something must have triggered the memories. Ooh, that's an interesting theory, too. I like it. Could you look up his victims and see yourself? Ooh. Hi, Tessa. Uh, if you want to send a story, you can send it here to antimatrix at gmail.com. Um, we actually have our list full for tonight. But you can send it for future lives or future potential videos if you like. That happens. It's called cellular memory. I did past life, but I only got the previous one. Oh, my God. Lauren. 
Thank you for sending subscriptions. I appreciate you so much. That was six subscriptions. NYC got a subscription. Tiffany, Bella Dat, Corgi, Nancy Mercado, Brittany Nobles, and Metastatically Me all got subscriptions. Thank you so, so much. That was very generous. I appreciate you so much. And welcome to the Glitch Community, friends. Cellular memory equals generational trauma. Oh, interesting. Now I want to look them up, but I didn't try to do that. Smart, smart, smart. Woo! Smart, smart, smart. They, that's a possibility to say fears can be passed on like a fear of bugs. Yes, I have heard that also. Yes, the vibes are great in here. I love it so much. You guys are all amazing. Amazing, amazing. Okay, we're going to do this next one, which is from the same person. Let me just get to it. I'm just going to pop this in my inbox. We're going to go to the next story. We're going to pop it over here. Over here. <laughs> over here. Interesting encounters with spirits. Interesting encounters with spirits. Okay. Just to let everyone know, including Auntie Matrix, I love y'all so, so much. Y'all are the best awesomeness family anyone could ever ask for. We love you so much too, Victoria. Love, love, love. Woo! I think I died in a drowning in my last life. I've always having those dreams. Not afraid of water though. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Here we go, friends. Here we go. We are reading this one. Interesting. Encounters with spirits at 205.42. Hi, Auntie Matrix. Hi. I love you and your stories and hope my stories will make some people feel more normal. I have been around death from a young age due to addiction in my family and have always seen people or animals in the corner of my eye or heard spirits chatting. Sorry for the long compilation of stories. Don't apologize at all. I grew up in a 100-year-old CP rail house that was moved onto the property and then renovated by my parents in the 25 years that they owned it. So obviously we had some extra house guests, but they were never harmful. My room was in the basement and my parents was on the main floor, and so I often heard them walking across the floors and I knew the house settling was a different sound. This comes into play later. The basement besides the bedrooms was unfinished for most of my childhood. It was missing a ceiling and showed the boards and they later added a storage room because the bathroom they were going to add was not able to be put in. This was due to plumbing and needing a reverse pipe or something. I was young and barely listened. Next to this storage room was the hallway to my room, the guest room and the furnace room. My door was in the middle and I could see the closet which had mirrors so I could see into part of the living room from my bedroom. This also comes into play later. When all of this was done, my parents added a drop ceiling and finished the basement fully. My room was next to the furnace room of that. I'm sorry. My room was next to the furnace room that often freaked me out when the door was open because I always saw a glowing aura there. And as a young child, it was scary. I was nervous about that room until we moved out. This may have been my bio mother watching over me, but it scared me regardless. Before the basement was finished, I was looking at the boards on the ceiling and I noticed metal that I hadn't seen before. I stood on the couch and looked and it was a brass plaque like the type on benches and it stated the year the house was built, something like 1902 and that it was owned by CP Rail and had a scroll underneath. I ran upstairs and grabbed my mom to show her, and when we returned, the plaque was gone. <gasps> but I can still clearly see the plaque, and I know the font and scroll used and could tell you the engraving was oxidized to make it look darker and stand out on the brass more. I went off and had family over, and uh, due to my parents' computer being used for work and mine for school, they would use my computer for emails or a game or something. When I was 16, my aunt was visiting and I saw through the mirror someone looking at my computer desk and went to go tell my aunt not to disturb my desk as I was working on something and she could use it later. When I walk out to the living room, no one was there. I was very confused and my aunt walked down the stairs as she just heard me talking to her and came to ask what I needed. I just stood there in shock. Oh my God, you saw it in the mirror, but not in real life. When I was 15, my parents were divorced and my mom hadn't started fostering yet. We were, 
uh, and we both liked the show Medium. My mom was watching the show in her room and me in the living room. The light to the basement was upstairs, so not to waste energy, I had left it off. The episode was about a couple who were killers who had died, and when I turned off the TV, I looked to my left and saw two blue glowing auras and it freaked me out. I ran up to my mom's room and slept with her. A small part of me thinks that it may have been my mom and grandmother watching over me and I wasn't meant to see the auras. When I was 16, my mom was away for the night and she had left me with our foster baby whose room was upstairs. I had a monitor and my dog. I was sitting downstairs doing homework and my dog was sleeping next to me on the couch when suddenly... I heard someone pacing the floor upstairs. Remember, the only one up there was a sleeping baby that couldn't even roll over yet. I called my mom to see if I had missed her coming home and explained the situation, and she asked if all the doors were locked, and I said yes, as I had done that when she left. She said it was the house settling, and I was overreacting. While on the phone with her, I took the baby and moved it downstairs to the playpen. I know the spirit didn't mean to scare me and meant no harm, but I wanted to avoid walking around upstairs any more than I needed to overnight. I do not blame you. This sort of thing did not end when we left. I've had a number of encounters since. The building I live in is also over 100 years old, and sometimes walking to the elevator, I hear women gossiping near the elevator, and as soon as I turn the corner, no one is there. It definitely sounds like turn-of-the-century gossip. The worst was when I was living with one of my friends and her husband while in a rough place. I had a spirit I picked up and I suspect he was from the 20s. When I was sleeping, I would feel him touching my shoulder and neck or staring at me. Some of my items went missing and it would hang upside down on door frames, tormenting my friend when her husband wasn't around. Oh my God. When he was home, he would hide in the attic or my room. Oddly, when I played The Great Gatsby, he would stand in the corner of the room and watch me sleep, but if I played anything else, he would touch me. Anytime he would touch me, I would get vivid nightmares. My friends did smudges, purification, and even had the ghost expelled from the home and then put iron on all the door frames because this ghost was causing so many problems. He only showed up as a shadow man, as a shadow, like from Peter Pan. Oh. Most recently, I was smudging my pop's place and something in his living room was not happy. It would put out my lighters and the sage and it flickered all the lights in the building. My last one is not mine, but my sister's. We had our mom's pass when we were young. Her and I have a morbid sense of humor at her expense, but my sister had a baby young and she never showed him pictures of her. When she would wake up When he was young, he would be laughing in his crib and looking outside the crib. This happened all the time, day or night. When he was 18 months old or younger, she had unpacked a picture of our mom and he walked up to it and said, Nana, this kid had never seen a photo of our mom before this. And it seems like our mom was playing with my nephew as a baby in his crib. I definitely 100% believe that. Thank you for reading and sharing. I have some dream stories too to share at the end. Woo! That was so good. So good. Hold on one second. You're doing brushes now? Oh, Luna. Did she get her treats though? Oh, okay. Luna, Luna, you should just leave because she's just going to sit by the door and meow, meow, meow. Loonies. Oh, God. (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) Hello, cats. Hello, all the cats. Um, Oh, my goodness. Okay, sorry. I don't remember anything before six years old. Like, it don't even exist before that. Oh, that is crazy. Yes, all great stories. Yes, Larry. Those were definitely great stories. I love that your mom, I feel like your mom and your grandma were definitely around. Definitely 100% around. I don't know about that shadow Peter Pan thing though. Woo! Woo! Okay, let us vote on those stories. Thank you so much for sharing. Did you appreciate those stories? Yes or no on YouTube. Happy face or sad face on TikTok. Um... Davin, thank you so much for the couch potato, my friend. We only need three more couch potatoes to hit the gift goal. 
And Shania, thank you for the roses. Robin, thank you for the roses. Monopoly, thank you for the heart puffs. Robin, thank you for the team bracelet and the roses. And also Tabitha, thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the Glitch community. I appreciate you. And I see everyone has already welcomed you because that's amazing. Auntie, do you mind when it's my story if I screen record? Absolutely not. Go right ahead. Screen record away. Just so you know, it will also, this is also recorded. The whole live is recorded and it will be up on YouTube, um, on my YouTube as well. But feel free to screen record. Thank you for asking. That was very sweet. One hundred K likes away. Woo! I sent mine in if you meet the like goal. Perfect, Kelly. Thank you. I'll put Kelly with a question mark. Ba ba bum. Okay. Um, the next story that we are going to read is Candy from TikTok Paranormal Experiences. Candy, can you please just let me know that you are still here, my dear? Homemade tortillas. You are making homemade tortillas? No worries at all, Candy. No worries at all. All right. Where is the Swanish paranormal experiences? <laughs> paranormal experiences. May I ask? Candy, can I ask either like the first part of your email address or when you sent it so I can make sure I have the right one because I have a few things called paranormal experiences. <gasps> You're making tortillas too? Everybody's making tortillas, huh? Hey, Victoria, that's okay. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Okay, perfect. I got it then. Thank you so much, Candy. Laura, it's been months. <gasps> Miss Marie Riz, thank you so much for the couch potato and the heart me. Mi amorcita, la gringa. Thank you for the rose. Thank you, thank you. Um, I just have to, before I read this one, I am just going to grab some Motrin because my sciatica is acting up. And, uh... Put some eye drops in my eyeballs. I don't know why, but my contacts have been like so dry lately. You guys have probably noticed I'm always like squinting when I'm trying to read. <laughs> I don't know. This is the best live you've ever been on. Oh, I'm so glad you're having a good time. Do you mean the best live of my lives that you've been on or like you've never been on this live before? Yes, turning on your notifications. Do it. Well, for you? Oh my god, I was literally just about to get it for me. I'm literally about to get up to get it. Thank you, babe. What a handsome guy. What hurts on you? <laughs> you got a headache? Yes. How come? Uh, Did you stare at the sun too much today? Are you blind? No. Do you think you're going to grab me another water from the... If there's one in the fridge that's not open. Thank you. You say hello. Hey guys. Look, oh, it's you. <laughs> it's Uncle Matrix. Hey guys. We'll right Hope back. you feel better. Thank you. I'll be right back with water. <laughs> we were not in totality, no. We were uh I think like eighty nine percent. They like your haircut. I did it. I shaved his head. Boom. Boom, Brooke. Thank you so much for the super chat. Babe, Brooke sent you $2. <laughs> you a bad headache too? Come back. You didn't see the haircut. No, Eliza, it can't be actually because I just opened a new box yesterday. So this is the first one from the new box. I think it's my eyeballs. Um, Brooke sent you $2 and said, hi, uncle. <laughs> and everyone wants to see your haircut. Here we go. Look at this handsome guy. I just buzzed Aww. it. It's 
not like anything. I special. buzzed it. Yeah, she did it. We'll just go down again. We can't see you. Oh, you're so handsome. Ooh. He's so cute. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Ah. <sighs> Was this in the fridge? No. They didn't have any in the fridge. But it feels cold. My hands? Your hands made it this cold? Yes. Is it that cold in the kitchen? Do you have the AC on out there? No, I'm about to turn it on right now. <laughs> Don't forget the eye drops. Thank you. Yes, I need to eye drops. See, look. But not as handsome as you are beautiful, Auntie. Thank you. Someone said it. Thank I you. Get out of here with that. <laughs> Get out of here. Thank <laughs> you. Nice hair, good Uncle Matrix. Context, your eyes can get used to them. Your eyes can start rejecting them. That's weird. <laughs> What's laughing? Oh, Shania, thank you for the couch potato. Amy, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate you. Welcome to the glitch community. Can I have my contact drops right there? I'm just making to get everything for me right now. Anything else, my queen? <sighs> yes. Uh, I want you to crawl to the desk and massage my feet while I read stories. I'm going to pass. You can't pass. You asked me anything else. I just passed. You can't do that. I just did it. What if you just stand behind me and massage my back instead? I'll give you four seconds. Yes. Two. Mississippi. Three. Three. Mississippi. Four. I wasn't done with that Mississippi yet. <sighs> you're not even massaging. You're just pinching. This feels good, though. It feels you know good it to does. you. You know it does. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> okay, I love you. Bye. I love you. Bye. Bye, guys. Aw, two dollars for me because I'm beautiful. Thank you, Brooke. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh my goodness, and Marie Reyes, thank you for the couch potato. Davin, thank you for the starlight compass. <laughs> All right. What does his shirt say? Baby. <laughs> what is your shirt? What shirt are you wearing? Wow, Dad. Someone asked what your shirt says. Oh, it says Wow Dad, like World of Warcraft. And it says, like a regular dad, just way cooler. Also see legendary slash exceptional. And it also has the horde symbol. If anyone's into World of Warcraft, this man streams. And he just became a Twitch affiliate. Woo! Congratulations, Uncle Matrix. <laughs> you can follow him. He is... But I'll write it in the chat and someone could pin it. It's uh, twitch.tv slash flamp TV, right? Yep. I'm putting it in the chat. Yay, look, congratulations from everybody. Woo! Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. That server is all the way full, Mojo said. Oh, it is, but you can still play on it. That doesn't become <laughs> a problem until, like, patch days or launch days, like new expansions. Ooh. Can't see. The oh my god, it's a problem. I don't know what you're talking and about. Any, any, and any of you guys here that follow me, thank you for helping me. There you go, because I know a few of you guys came over and followed. So proud of you, babe. You were working so hard. Okay, my husband has a T-shirt that says "Fa Thor," with the same definition as Uncle Matrix. Oh, like Thor, like yeah. father, father. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. You guys give me faith. I'll find my forever someday. Divorced three years ago. Taking my time now. You will. We're both divorced. Yep. Second marriage. High five. Yep. Second marriage is always we better. We weren't even planning on finding each other. Nope. Just we were happens. just having fun. Yeah. And then we fell in That's how love. you gotta do it. Just enjoy. It'll, it'll happen when you least expect it. That's right. That's right. Tap the screen. Fair. I'll give Jess my battle net info for you. Cool, cool, cool. Boo oh, horde cool. for the alliance. I play both. <laughs> My main is currently human, so I play both. Um, 
Kane, thank you so much for the couch potato. There's not a date for the wedding. We are in the middle of doing a house right now. House first. We're doing things all backwards. <laughs> we are. That's okay. It's fun to do things yes. backwards. Ooh, we hit the we hit the goal. Let's go. We hit the goal. I left my ex husband and now have been with my partner for three years, and he is the sweetest. Yes. Uh, literally did not understand what a healthy, happy relationship was until this man. Didn't even know it was a thing. Didn't know. Thought you were supposed to fight all the time and hate each other. That's not. Thought that that was normal. <laughs> not normal. Not normal. Not normal. High five. Okay, now get out. I got stories to read. All right, bitch. Bye, I love you so much. Bye. So you have to treat me? <laughs> Hold on. We're doing the gift goal. Odin? What? Fuck, dude. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Odin, yeah. Odin is crazy. You guys gonna come out? You gonna sit? I'm just gonna pop up some hand hearts, but I'll put like more so that it takes a longer. Okay, John wants another time out. Why? What's he doing? What is he doing? I don't even see him typing. Oh, there he is. <laughs> okay um we talk through fights and it's amazing compared to just screaming right what like what that's a thing uh you're still in your first husband good i hope your first husband stays forever for you mojo my five-year-old loves you she said can i tap to give her hearts oh hello julia's five-year-old thank you so much for sending me hearts i appreciate it I haven't quite broken him yet. <laughs> Anyone ever really gotten over their trauma and how do I minus therapy? Uh, are you talking about divorce trauma? You're in husband zero. Perfect. On my second, way better. Boop, boop. My first husband was a douche canoe. <laughs> I put my husband on timeout when he is too much. <laughs> <laughs> friends on tiktok also we are live on youtube at the same time if you like youtube better the quality is a little bit better and you can see the stories on the screen i am anti-matrix on youtube and if you do not go watch there right now you should subscribe to me on youtube anyway because i post these lives are recorded and posted on youtube and i also post youtube videos so please come subscribe anti-matrix um, also, if anybody wants to send stories, I have all my stories filled up for this live. But if you want to send them for future lives or for future potential videos, you can send them to antimatrix at gmail.com. For videos, you have a better chance of getting them read on live. For videos, please remind, remember that I have over 8,000 I have not even read yet. And that is not an exaggeration in a number. Um, so I get to as many as I can, but you have a better chance of getting them read on live. So if you want to send, you can send them to antimatrix at gmail.com. And please, if you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Jess. Um, people call me Antimatrix, and you should also come join us in Discord. It's dsc.gg slash Antimatrix. I put it on the screen for TikTok and YouTube. It is now in the chat. Please come join us in Discord. Um, we have over 1,800 people in there. You can hang out with like-minded individuals. We're sharing Eclipse pictures right now, which is pretty damn cool. Um, and there's an announcements channel so you can know when I'm going live, when I post a YouTube video, when I drop new merch, and all of the things in between. When we have a movie night, we had a movie night today at 6 p.m. Um, okay, I just wanted to go over that again because we have 456 people on TikTok and 146 on YouTube, and I want to make sure everyone was on the same page. Thank you so much. We're going to continue reading stories in just a second, but first I'm going to thank all the things that just happened. Laray, thank you so much for gifting a membership on YouTube. Curtis, you got a membership. Welcome, Curtis, to the Glitch community. I appreciate that so much, Laray. And Lauren, holy smokes, one, two, three, four. Thank you so much for sending subscriptions. I appreciate you so much. Oh my God, you hit my subscription goal. <gasps> Thank you. Shelb's got a subscription. Jasmine and Denver Duchess and Rara got subscriptions. And Salvage, thank you for the rose. Um, and all of the things. I think I got all the things. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate you guys are freaking amazing. You're right. It's more clear and I can see more of your room on YouTube. Yes, YouTube is definitely better quality. Definitely better quality. Keep tapping that screen, TikTok. We are so close to hitting our goal. If we hit this goal for the night, we get to add one more story to this list. Boom. How many stories do we have left? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight stories left and probably one more after that. Okay. 
Blah, 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 la, 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 la. <laughs> Hold on one second, and then we're going to read this story. I just need to... Okay. Got you back over here. <clears throat> Got you back over here. All right, we're reading Paranormal Experience. And we're starting it at 2.29.20. Here we go. Hi. Hi. I'm new to your channel, but I'd like to send my own experiences in as it feels amazing that others have felt the same things. Yes, that's what we're all about here. My story will be a long one for, as it spans for 18 years, my whole life, and all my family and friends have experienced things in my house. I, over time, have lost pictures and videos of the proof. Oh, no. When my parents moved into my family home, they got it after the owners sold the house very suddenly and sold it at a very low price. Before my parents even moved there, uh, moved in there was odd things happening such as lights turning on and off and TVs turning on randomly while the house was empty. Things moving and stuff going missing. This started before I was born, so I'm fuzzy on the details. When I was born, my mom would hear me playing, talking, and laughing with no one. I was an only child at this point. I'd also have night terrors about the man in the doorway, which is my, which my brother also had the same nightmares of when he was in that room. There was a period when I was around five or six that during that night, I would get up screaming and attack slash break anything near me, according to my parents. My eyes would be rolled back as if I were sleeping and I'd scream constantly until I snapped out of it on my own or my parents held me down and I woke up. I'd wake up feeling like I had just woken up from sleep, but my parents would be holding me down to my bed. They would let me go and they would know I was fully awake and I'd stop trying to thrash. I was restrained after I smashed a glass front wardrobe during these episodes because I headbutted it. Holy crap! Why are you breaking stuff? That's like so scary. I was taken to a doctor about these episodes. I'm sorry. I was taken to a doctor about these and they said that it was sleep aggression. <laughs> Doctors just make shit up sometimes. I feel like it stopped when my nan came and saged the house because my parents were convinced I was being possessed in my sleep. Oh my God. There was also no one. There was also one of these fits during the day when my brother was a baby, which I came downstairs and started throwing glass ornaments at my mom while she was feeding my brother. She managed to shield him. And then after I'd smashed all the ornaments, I went back upstairs only to come back down a few minutes later asking what was happening because I heard shouting and cried because I didn't know that I had done it. There was camera footage of this, but it got lost when my dad's computer broke and all of the pictures and videos got deleted. This is what pushed my nan to sage our house. We also had toys that Bob, the ghost slash demon. Oh, so we named him Bob. Okay. We also had toys that Bob interacted with most, which was the early learning center light and sound drum, which would turn on randomly even when it had no batteries and would roll slash tip over when no one was around. It once tipped and rolled off the top of my brother's wardrobe after being there for months and started playing music in the middle of the night. There was also the baby... Nope. <laughs> there was also the baby Annabelle doll that came with a dummy and moved and made noises that again, even without batteries would make noises and move. Nope, 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 nope. Most prominent memory of this was when I was seven and I went to bed with the doll like I usually would. Batteries were removed because when the doll's head moved, once my hair got stuck in the neck of the doll, its head moved very slowly you could hear the motor moving and said, mama, which I cried. And my parents stored the doll and loft uh, in the loft after that. Just get rid of it. Why do we store it? Just like literally get rid of it. Just get rid of it. Uh. <laughs> there was also the Furby, which is still in the house. It was pre-owned before my mom acquired this Furby and it was never reset, but it always has disappeared in the house. And when you find it again, it's usually in a random spot, such as your bedside table, and it's always 
facing you with its eyes open. It would sometimes make noises, but most of the time it would just sit there. Batteries haven't been changed in the Furby for over 20 years, but it still goes off. Oh my God. Nope, 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 nope. We have so many emotes going on everywhere. <laughs> and I love when you guys use the emotes. <sighs> okay. Everyone who has ever stopped in the house has heard the back door opening and closing and someone walking down the side of the house on the pathway. But when checked literally 10 seconds later, it would still be locked and no one would be in my backyard or near the house. During the night, I would hear scraping down my wall and tapping and other strange noises that I would text my neighbor, my auntie who lived with my nan and granddad next door to us, to stop going through her wardrobe. It was on the brick wall that was between our rooms, and she'd always tell me that she had just woken up and she'd heard nothing or that the house was empty as she was staying elsewhere. I'd also hear footsteps around the house when no one else was there. Most common thing that still happens is when walking up the stairs, no matter what time of day or year, you always get this feeling of being watched and sometimes chased as well on the landing at the top of the stairs, which leads to all of the bedrooms and bathroom. The rule of the house is that you do not sleep with the door open, as most times you will see or hear Bob. If he's content watching you, he will stand in the doorway to your room, slightly hunched over with his head in the room. He's an all black figure with red glowing circular eyes and an old style hat and a long coat. You don't see his eyes often, but mainly see them when there's been a fight or an argument that day. That's interesting. He will also breathe down the back of your neck or in your ear at the side of your bed and usually doesn't stop for at least a few minutes. He also breathes on you if you stand on the stairs. Oh my God, Bob, that's really creepy and gross. Stop breathing on people. He also walks around the bathroom during the night. My room is next to the bathroom so I can hear it very clearly and opens the airing cupboard before he walks out. It opens slowly and you always hear the lock come undone before it's opened. This lock was on the cupboard before my parents moved in and has very little maintenance so it's hard to open anyways and the door is pretty heavy and the latch on the door is an old ball latch so you really need to pull it for it to pop in so that it can open. The lock is pretty basic slide lock and it's rusty and hard to move. So it has a pretty loud slitch sound when it opens. <laughs> oh my God. Can Bob clean the house? Bob, are you paying rent? Oh my God, Bob. There's also apparitions that appear in the living room, which were caught on camera by my auntie as she had messaged my dad if he wanted any bread as she was going to the store, which he responded that he was on holiday. My aunt thought he was lying and said, no, you're in your living room and sent a photo of a blurry grayish black figure in the middle of the living room. There was no shadows or light tricks. My dad then responded the house was empty and no one was there. Apparently it disappeared by the time that my aunt looked up from her phone. Ooh, stuff has been thrown around my house and thrown at people. Most memorable was me, my mom, my dad and brother was sitting in the living room and sometime, something had happened. So my brother was sat on the living room floor while my mom stood at the far end of the room scolding him for something. Both me and my dad were sitting on the sofa facing my brother and next to us is a fireplace with a mantelpiece. We watched a battery that was behind a coaster on its side with no way of moving jump from the mantel at my brother and it landed not even two centimeters from his back. Everyone just stopped and laughed as my brother was around nine at this point and we had been dealing with things being thrown at us for 13 years. Bread would also get thrown in the kitchen if it wasn't in the cupboard. It only ever got thrown at my mom, as well as cups would move around the countertop with or without tea or water in them. A few years ago, 2019, we adopted two rabbits, which we put in the living room in a big dog pen. We didn't buy a house for them. We didn't buy a house for them as they hadn't used the ones in the cages during the day, so we saw no need. They started to wake us up in the night with thumping, throwing themselves at the sides of the cages and screaming. When we would go down and check on them, they would be huddled in the corner together looking very spooked and pee everywhere as if they had been scared enough to pee themselves. They are toilet trained. Once we went out and about them, a little wooden... I'm sorry. Once we went out and bought them a little wooden hutch and that sat in the corner, which we had taken the door off, they stopped waking us up. But if you checked on them in the most nights, they would be huddled in the house looking a little spooked, but not as messy and not as loud. 
We then got another rabbit in 2020 who lives upstairs in my room who will have the same reaction if I leave my door open during the day. He can have reactions to my doorway, like growling at the empty doorway and sitting on my bed staring at the doorway in the alert stance that they have before attacking. However, if the door is shut, he rarely goes near the door. If I take him out of the room onto the landing, sometimes he will growl and hiss at nothing or try to hide into my top as if he is scared. Once one of my male friends stopped over in 2020 as he needed a place to stay the night, so he grabbed my futon and he set it up next to my bed and had Gizmo, my pet rabbit, by his head. During the night, he'd gotten up to use the toilet, and when he went back to bed, he left the door open, so after a few hours, he grabbed my foot and started shaking it while I could hear Gizmo in the background growling. I woke up my friend... I woke up to my friend shaking me, telling me that there was a man in my house, which obviously I shot off to see a blur of a black, uh, a blur of black in my doorway. He told me he heard my back door open and him walk up the stairs to the doorway. I'm pretty used to this at this point. I was like 16 and have lived in this house since I was born. So like any sane human, I turned over and told him to shut the door and went back to sleep. When I got up the next morning, I was greeted by a very tired friend who hadn't slept since meeting Bob and had been sat staring at Gizmo the entire night because he was too afraid to go near the door until there was daylight, but he was also too afraid to look at the door in case of seeing Bob. He still refuses to stay at my house and will only come over during the day and will not go upstairs. I do not blame him. Oh my God, my eyes are so dry. I'm struggling over here. I got to fix this after. Another thing that happens often is the house will smell of smoke as if someone is outside, had a fire going or something's melted, but you can never pinpoint the smell and it's not overwhelming, just annoying. I forgot to mention that when my brother was little, we had baby monitors, which on multiple occasions did strange things. Two experiences that were very creepy was the monitor in my mom's room seemed to skip through frequencies, but words would seem to stand out. I was around six and I remember sitting on the bed with my mom and the monitor skipped through frequencies and the message, I can't say these words on on TikTok, um, unalive yourself was very clear and we both heard it. There was also the time my mom heard crying from my brother's room, but the baby monitor wasn't picking anything up. So when she checked the monitor in my brother's room, it sounded like it was a grown man screaming down the monitor. Then when she had taken my brother from the room and downstairs with me and the other monitor, you could hear a baby crying. Then it was drowned out by an eerie laughing. Oh my God. After that, my mom sold the monitors as we lived in a small house. She can hear him if he cries. Oh my God. As of 2024, the activity has greatly subsided for a few years and only spikes in high stress or random times. We have finally stripped the walls in the garage, which everyone hates going in. It is directly below my room and the landing next to the hallway and the stairs. And we have found very faint markings behind some of the paint chips. We think that the past tenants of the house may have done a ritual slash summoning, specifically their son, and have summoned a demon that has a striking similarity to the hat man found via TikTok. After living with Bob for my whole life, and I know he won't seriously harm us anymore, we as a family have left him to roam the house with us. He's part of the family and sometimes he can be useful. This is fully true. And if I had the evidence, I would send it. But unfortunately, we have lost most of it, most if not all of it, uh, as this spanned from 2005 to 2024 and technology breaks over time. And most paranormal stuff was deleted because we see this stuff every day. So we saw no need to keep documents of it. I'm sorry, this is so long, but I put as much as I could, but I still have some details I've left out as well as other experiences as this would be way too long. Thank you for believing. And I hope your day is amazing. The end. The end. Holy smokes, my friend. We believe you. And thank you so much for sharing your story. What? I don't understand why my cat is meows of the wall all the time. What's the matter, Toonies? That was, that whole thing was like so crazy. I can't even, I feel like I can't even comment on, mo- It's there was like so many things. They could write a whole biography on Bob. A whole biography on Bob. That, that is a lot. Did you ever like communicate with Bob? It was a lot, right? I'm going to let this cat out because she's going to meow her face off. Bob needs to leave the fur babies alone. Yes. Hold on.
<sighs> Leave the bunnies alone, Bob. <laughs> Stop scaring the bunnies. <laughs> Hi, Lessa. Me and my sister named our ghost Bob, too. Bob is pretty chill now. I just think that's so crazy that we're living with that whole crazy. That's like so much. That's so crazy. All right. We are. Thank you so much for sharing all that. We are going to vote. Did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube. Happy face or sad face on TikTok. Your ghost is named Gia. Bob needs to learn boundaries. Yes, he does need to learn boundaries. The next up is anxiety with the Grim Reaper's warning. Anxiety, please just let me know that you are here. I'm pretty sure that you are. And I see that somebody hit the like goal. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. That means that we add another story. Your ghost is named Glenda. <laughs> okay, listen. I am literally going to take my contacts out and rinse them off and put them on. I'm going to do it right here because I don't feel like getting up. So if you're weirded out by people touching their eyeballs, don't watch. This is your warning. All right. This is what we're going to do. Because my I am having such trouble staring at these I feel like maybe this will be maybe if I do that it will be helpful La -da -da. I'm hoping this helps me. I can't wear my glasses. First of all, the ring lights will just be on my glasses and then I won't be able to see. My anxiety's here. Oh, you weren't talking to me. I don't know what it is. <clears throat> I'm fine during the day, but like when I've been on live, like sitting here reading stories, my contacts have just gotten so dry. It's very uncomfortable. Could be allergies, I guess. Okay. Moving dust. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Okay. We are, we read this on live. We're going to pop this here. Uh, okay. Okay. I am we updated the like goal oh no that was 500,000 that we just did so that would be another I know this is confusing because we um <laughs> this is confusing because I we're operating on the fact that we got 140 something thousand likes and then it got reset, which is why the numbers are weird. But anyway, we did 355 so that it would add up to 500 from what we had already done. So then I just added another 500. This we're not I'm not trying to like hit this. It's just for something for you guys to look at. But we already hit the goal that we needed to hit. And we're already doing another story. If for some reason we hit this one now before I'm finished with these stories, we will potentially add another one depending on what time it is. I don't want to like kill myself. Thank you for the panther paws. And I want to say thank you for. OK, I missed a lot of things over here. Um. Salvage, thank you for the rose. Mojo, thank you for the roses. Taryn, thank you for the tiny tiny star. Thank you for the rose. Uh, EJ, thank you for the hand hearts and the rose. Ashley, thank you for the heart me. Tracy, thank you for the heart me and the rose. Cynthia, thank you for the rose. Jacqueline, thank you for the heart me. Lessa, thank you for the rose and the finger heart. NJ, thank you for the rose and heart puffs. And Katie Joe, thank you for the panther paws. Woo! Um, no, Kelly, I'll do yours. We'll do yours as the as the the extra one. What is the name of yours, Kelly? 
you'll be the number 11. You have missed four stories. We are on number five. Yes, thank you. Let me give YouTube an ad while I'm waiting for this. I love you so much. Let me know what you get. Thank you, YouTube, for supporting me. Email is Kelly. Biker. Okay. I got you, boo. All right. And then let me find my next one. Uh, it is the Grim Reaper's warning. Here it is right here. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> my eyeballs. My literal eyeballs. Literally, literally, literally. Boop, <laughs> Hello, welcome, 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 welcome. Didn't we already do the Grim Reaper's warning? I know we read another story about the Grim Reaper, but this was literally sent two hours ago, so it's new. We had a Grim Reaper, a different Grim Reaper one. You're catching me early. Oh, okay, I'm giving myself a donut break. <laughs> Friends on YouTube, I just want to remind you that you can use uh, the, if you type exclamation point weird in the YouTube chat, it will give you your weirdness percentage for today. And if you type exclamation point eight ball in the chat and then a question, it, you can ask the eight ball a question, which people are doing right now. And the eight ball is a dick a lot of the time, FYI. I actually went to... Um, see about getting LASIK and I can't get it because my corneas are too thin or something. So. Okay. All right, here we go. We are reading the Grim Reaper's Warning and we are starting it at 251.25. Here we go. Hi, Auntie Ann glitches. Hi. I'm in my 20s. Surely, I'm in my 20s. There should be a period there. I think in my brain there should be. I'm in my 20s. Shortly after I moved into my apartment, I made accounts on Plenty of Fish and Meet Me. There was this one guy who kept messaging me on Plenty of Fish, but I was just ignoring him. To be honest, I really ignored everyone because I thought I was in love with another guy who I dated off and on for over 10 years. I grew up with him in the same town. Our relationship was a disaster. This other guy, Raymond, just kept messaging me. Not in a creepy way like the others, just a short message here and there. One morning, I walked up to a store. My apartment was in a town a lot bigger than my hometown. I haven't driven since I was 19 because my road anxiety became too, became too much. On my way back, I walked past this guy in a white shirt, and he waved at me and said something, but I just kept walking home. By the time I got home, I seen I had a message on Meet Me, and it was the same guy. He even had on the same white shirt. He said, hey, didn't I just walk past you? Turned out he actually lived in the town houses behind my apartment. We made plans to hang out that night and he came over and only just hung out and I made him leave before anything further happened. While we were hanging out, though, he was telling me a story about how his girlfriend, who ended up being unalived when he was a teen and how his now ex and baby mama ripped up a shirt he had of hers out of jealousy. He kind of gave me an unsettling feeling, but I did end up hanging out with him again. He came over one weekend and we were drinking. He got pretty fucked up and I was rambling on. I'm sorry. And N was rambling on about how all these people died around him, his friends and his family members. It was quite unsettling. I got tired around 2 a.m. and really just did not want to hang out anymore. I just wanted to go to bed. He said he was too messed up to leave and I did allow him to stay the night. 
When I fell asleep, I dreamt I was at my parents' house and I was about to walk into the kitchen when all of a sudden the Grim Reaper just came up from the kitchen floor. Yes, picture the Grim Reaper, long robed, covering face, and long skeleton fingers and all. He stood there staring at me until slowly he raised his arm and pointed his long skeleton finger at me. He just stood there pointing at me. I then shot up in bed, breathing hella heavy. I needed this man out of my apartment. I knew this man had to go. It was like I knew the Grim Reaper was warning me about this man. I woke up and told him he had to leave. He was confused himself and was questioning me, but he eventually left. About a year later, he did end up coming over for a short time. He did start scaring me and causing all these issues and screaming. And I almost called the cops, but he left and I was unharmed. I haven't allowed him near me since. Good, don't. (laughs) He has tried talking to me, but I ignore him. Good, keep doing that. I just know that dream was a warning to stay away from him and allowing him in my home again was me being an absolute idiot. Yes, (laughs) it was. Do you think it was a dream or a warning? I think that it was a warning. Hey, Ariel. (laughs) I think it was 100% a warning. And. Oh, thank you, Ariel. Held to the no. (laughs) Always looking out for you, pretty sure. Yes, yes, yes. A warning big time. Does that mean he's somehow the cause of the others? Yeah, but how? I mean, if he came back to the, if he came back, this is the end of the story, by the way. If he came back that other time and he was like yelling and stuff, like maybe he is the cause of the others. Who knows? But either way, nope. Ignore, block, never again. Ignore, block, block, ignore. (laughs) Yes, yes, Marcy. I don't know. You think he was a murderer? Ooh, ooh, that's so crazy. Oh my goodness. Most definitely block, ignore, move. Hi, Kali. What are you doing? I swear to God, these cat. He insisted to stay was a no. No, I think he didn't insist to stay the first the time that he was messed up. I think he... Uh, I think he just was too messed up and she let him stay the night. I understand that because he was drunk, right? I mean, but if he was being weird, I don't know. That would be hard to let him stay, but it would be hard to tell him no. You know what I mean? I don't know. I understand. I understand. Oh, that was definitely a warning, friend. That was a warning, and I'm glad that you heard it. Um, The whole did I walk past you was my first red flag. Yes. Oh, his aura was creepy, too. Yes. Okay, did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube? Happy face or sad face on TikTok. Thank you so, so much for sharing. The next one we are reading is going to be Eliza from TikTok for Crystal Ware, I think. I can't read my own handwriting. I just want to make sure you're still here. Um, Eliza, just let me, give me a little, hey, I'm here. Hey, I'm still here and it's, I'm pretty cool. You're here. My cat is pregnant. We just found out. Oh my God, she'll be one year old in June. Oh. You're going to have little baby kittens. Oh, my God. My eyes used to do what yours are doing. I had to get eye drops for allergies. You'll see a huge difference. Really, Sherry? How do you get them? Do I have to go to the doctor? I don't want to go to the doctor. Hello, Nessa. You can get them over the counter for allergies at Walmart. But question, I have contacts. Can I put them in with contacts in or is it something that you have to do before you put your contacts in? Well, I have re-wetting drops for contacts. Oh, they make ones. Liquid tears. So I actually have some eye drops that I got that I've been putting in at night before I go to bed and in the morning when I wake up. Um... And they're not really helping. Sustain complete eye drops. Once a day before contacts. All right. I wrote it down. Pat a day drops for allergies. Thank you. Yes, I saw Eliza. Thank you. Thank you, Katie. 
pillow contact wear. Boop, boop. Okay. All right, let me get this next story. We read this one on live. We are looking for crystals wear. Perfect. Here we go. Boop. Crystals wear? <laughs> Ariel, I am soon. An eye, eye ointment for severe dry eyes also use at night. Okay, okay, cool. Um, And yes, I'm so excited. I'm literally, literally, we're all so excited. So excited. Okay. Crystals where we are reading. And we are starting this one at 259.20. Here we go. Hi, Jess. Hi. Thanks for building this community for all of us. I have so many experiences that are in depth that I need to write up to share, but here is one that was simply that was simple to write up. I will try to get some of the others written up soon. I'm sorry that my cat is making so much noise. Now she's back there. Um, I am into crystals and stones for their energetic value, so I tend to have at least a few with me at all times. I'm not. I don't literally have, like, this whole thing of crystals and crystal jewelry or anything else all over my desk here or here. <laughs> Last fall, I took a brief grippy sock vacation and ended up with a roommate for the last few days of my stay. What is a grippy sock vacation? I would love to know what that is. Oh, Oh, wow. Okay. Thank you so much. I literally did not know that. And I thought you were making some like weird reference to some kind of like actual vacation. So thank you so much. Okay. Last fall, I took a brief grippy sock vacation and ended up with a roommate for the last few days of my stay. I had pulled my crystals and stones together into one bag to take with me to a group meditation and smudging session. The small bag was bulging and weighed about a pound, give or take a couple of ounces. Later, I put the bag whole into my tote, which sat next to my bed. Two days later, as I was packing to leave, I discovered the bag and all of its contents was missing. I was devastated. None of them were of great monetary worth, but several were of great personal value. I searched all my bags, including my small crossbody purse, emptying each completely and shaking them upside down. I searched the entire room. The bag and its contents were completely gone. After putting everything back together, I put the lightweight purse on my body and began carrying my bags out. I suspected the roommate had a hand in the vanishing act as she was the only one who even knew that they existed. She had admired them, loved crystals and stones herself, and had the most access to my tote, but I had no proof. I asked her if she had seen them anywhere or picked them up by mistake, and she said that she hadn't. I alerted the staff of the missing bag before I left. They said that they would look into it and they would let me know if they found the bag or any portion thereof. I had little faith that they would come up with it, with any of it, but there was nothing more that I could do. I was heartbroken, but tried to come to terms with it. <clears throat> After leaving the facility, I had breakfast with my adult son and had to dig the bottom of my purse for my reading glasses to see the menu properly. No bag, no stones. We then run errands, so I went to my purse several more times to retrieve various items. I'm a very small person, 4'10", less than 100 pounds with damage to my neck, so I absolutely notice when I am carrying an extra pound around in my bag. Later that afternoon, as my son was working, I decided to clean out my purse to kill time. I removed everything. I organized it all, calling the trash and miscellaneous items as needed. Prepared to put the appropriate items back in, I reached into each pocket to do one last sweep for trash or tiny items that I may have missed. My fingers brushed what felt like netting up against something hard in the bottom. My purse was leather and the lining and normal fabric that you'd find in any leather bag, so this wasn't right. Thinking this could not be what I think it is, still I closed my hand around what I felt and pulled out the bag, the very bag full of crystals and stones that had not been in there that morning when I shook my purse upside down, hadn't been there at breakfast when I retrieved my glasses from that exact spot, and hadn't been there all day as we ran errands or even when I removed everything from my purse just a few minutes before. 
I stared at them, ecstatic, but my mind was blown. My purse was never out of my sight and was nearly always on my body. My son never stepped a foot into the facility, nor did he interact with anyone there, staff, or patients. He was the only individual I had contact with that day other than strangers while we did errands. I must confess that this isn't the first time a stolen or lost object has been returned to me, but it is certainly the largest and one I know for an absolute fact has no reasonable explanation. Thank you for sharing my story. The end. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Um, That was crazy. Yes, absolute glitch in the mage. Thank you. Sometimes as soon as I'm done, like, as soon as I'm done reading a story, I like look over at the comments and then I start like reading all the comments and then I lose my own train of thought. But yes, definitely. I don't know if it was like, <laughs> you have a portal in your purse. I don't know if you have a portal in your purse. I don't know if it was a glitch in the matrix. I don't know if you had some little, little fairy beings or something that were being mischievous and they stole it and then they put it back. I don't know, but that is so, I was going to say like, cause I was reading the beginning and I was like, okay, like the roommate probably stole it. But then you were like, no, it was not anywhere in my bag. I took apart the whole thing. I turned it upside down. I literally cleaned the entire thing out. And then there it is crazy mary poppins bag <laughs> hiding behind the purse lamp <laughs> the other her gave them back maybe glad you got them back yes that's crazy thank you so so much for sharing hello jay how are you we are going to vote. Did you appreciate that story? I'm glad you got your crystals back, man, because I understand that, right? Like the crystals I have, none of them are like crazy expensive, but some of them really mean something to me. So I completely understand that. I'm glad you got them back. I'm glad they were returned to you. However, they were returned to you. Hermione's purse, Aggie Cromwell bag. <laughs> they found their owner. I had something similar with my keys in a small purse. It's so, so cool. Hello, Jaden. Hey, these dolls. Okay, so we're gonna um, we're gonna vote. Did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube? Happy face or sad face on TikTok? Excuse my voice is starting to go, but that is okay. We are gonna keep on keeping on, my friends. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Jess. People call me Anti Matrix, and I am reading your weird, unexplainable stories. We have one, two, three, four, five, six more stories to go on this list. Holy crap, it's almost 11 o'clock and I still have six stories to read. I better get my butt into gear so that I can go to bed at some point. Um, TikTok, we are also live on YouTube. In case you would rather watch on YouTube, the quality is a little bit better and you can see the stories on the screen. I am Anti-Matrix on YouTube. Even if you do not come to YouTube to watch, you should subscribe to my YouTube, Anti-Matrix on YouTube. Um, these lives are recorded and they are posted on YouTube the following day so that you can rewatch them or watch anything that you've missed. The stories will be timestamped in the description. Also, I do post YouTube videos with new stories to here on YouTube as well. So please make sure you are subscribed to YouTube. If you want to send in one of your stories, um, one of your stories that you would like me to potentially share on a future live or in a future video, you can send it to antimatrix at gmail.com. Today's uh, list is taken up, but you can send them for future lives or future potential videos. Please keep in mind that I have over 8,000 emails I have not read yet. Um, I try to get through as many as I possibly can, so it's not a guarantee that it will get read, but I appreciate everyone sending them. Thank you so much. Also, if you're new, please make sure you come and join us in Discord. It is dsc.gg slash antimatrix. Um, um, we have over 1,800 people in there. You can hang out with like-minded people. We're actually sharing photos of the eclipse today, which was really nice. Um, and I have an announcements channel where you can see when I'm going live, when I'm posting a YouTube video, uh, when I'm dropping merch and all things related to that. When we're doing a movie night, we did a movie night tonight earlier. Um, I call you Jaden because it's J-A-Y-D-E and then the 26 in my brain is an N. <laughs> and I don't know why. I'm so sorry, Jade. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But yes, anywho. <clears throat> anywho, that's all the things I think. Also check the link in my bio, tessicavision.com for my PO box and all my other links. I love you so much. Okay, we are going on to the next story is going to be Orange on TikTok with Creepy Dream. Orange, I just want to make sure that you are still here on TikTok before I pull up your thingy. AJ, thank you so much for the garland headpiece. Corky, thank you for the rose. And 13 Panda, thank you for the hand hearts and the heart me. Yes, you are here. Perfect. Creepy. Dream. Okay. Um. 
this one read online. Let's find creepy dream. Um, was it sent an was it sent an hour ago, Orange? Are you Christy? Yes, perfect. Got it. All right, TikTok. TikTok, you're killing it. You're killing it, TikTok. Just a reminder that our gift goal is hand hearts, if anyone wants to send hand hearts. I'm just getting my eyeballs ready. Having so many eyeball problems today. Okay. We are reading Creepy Dream, and we are starting it at 3.09.25. Here we go. Hi, Auntie. Hi. I've loved your videos and lives for such a long time. By the way, a tortilla with butter and cinnamon and sugar is the best. <laughs> I have lots of weird dreams I want to send you, but I figured I'd send this one first. For the record, I don't like cinnamon. The other stuff sounds pretty good, though. I once had a dream that I was a teenager and I was in a car with a bunch of other teenagers. As we were driving down the road, we got into a big accident. I woke up in the hospital still in my dream and the doctors told me what happened. They kept reassuring me that everything and everyone was fine. I just needed to rest and get myself better. While they were taking care of me, each of the teenagers from the accident came into my room one at a time to chat with me. Each time a visitor would come sit with me, we would be chatting and then randomly blood would start dripping from their eyes like they were crying blood. Each time I would mention it, they would say something like, oh, weird, I'll be right back. This happened over and over, probably four to five times. As I was talking to the doctors, I finally got them to admit that each one of those teenagers had died in the car accident and I was the only one that survived. So the visitors were all ghosts. The doctors had been trying to keep me calm so I could heal from my injuries and were worried I would have a mental breakdown if I knew I was the only survivor. And then I woke up. The end. This dream has stayed with me for so long. I don't know who any of the teenagers were, by the way, and I was an adult when I had the dream, so I am not worried about it being a premonition. I will try to get all my other dreams sent in soon. Thank you for reading. The end. My partner hates cinnamon, too. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Very weird dream. I don't even know what that would be. I have no idea, right? I got, do I have any mods on, uh, are there any mods on TikTok? I have blue light glasses, actually. You think it could have been a memory from a past life? Interesting. I blocked the person. You're here, okay. I was just wondering, because there was a, could she have children? Oh, I don't like that. Thank you, Missy and Panda for the hand hearts. Ooh, thank you, Panda, for all the hand hearts and the heart me. And Kristen, thank you for the roses. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, hi, Jess. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you so much for sharing your weird dream. We are going to vote. Does anyone know what they think that means? Let us know. Did you appreciate it? That story, yes or no, on YouTube. Happy face or a sad face on TikTok. It could be she was dropped into that person. Larry, very interesting thought. I like it. Our next story is Kiwi on YouTube. Kiwi, are you still here, my darling? Please let me know. Please let me know if you're here. Please let me know. Yes, you are here. Okay, I'm looking for this one. I found you. Found you. Oils, my guardian angels, and a little glitch. Okay, 
perfect. Thank you so much, Sierra. See, I do have blue light glasses. But it's not the... I don't think that's going to help. First of all, you can probably see the ring lights in my glasses, I'm assuming. Second of all, I don't think these are going to help my dry eyes. I know they help my headaches and stuff. I think they'll help a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's my eyes are like so dry. It was a dream of all my past and future lives. Ooh. We'll just keep doing this. Huh. Okay. All right. We are reading this one, which is um called Oils, My Guardian Angels, and a Little Glitch. And we're starting it at 3, 14, 40. Here we go. Hi, Dematrix. Hi. I love your videos. I watch them on YouTube and choose to watch the scary ones only during the day. I'm a chicken. <laughs> I have been wanting to share some of my stories for a while, but I finally decided to do it. I have a few to share, starting with the scariest one. So buckle up. It's going to be long. Sorry. P.S. I have dyslexia and dysgraphia. So sorry if it's a hard one to read. What is dysgraphia? I don't know what that one is. numbers i know dyslexia is like you reverse things um words slowed around Ooh. okay story number one i was seven to nine years old when this happened my family was living in a smaller house at the time and me and my three sisters were sharing a super little room we had two sets of bunk beds, me and my older sister, by one month. We have a mixed family. Had the top bunks and swapped sides every once in a while. At the time when this took place, I was on the left top bunk. My older sister, we'll call her Kay, was at her mom's house. The right top bunk was empty. The bunk underneath Kay's bed, my baby sister, we'll call her Jay, slept. She is five years younger than me, and under my bunk, my other sister, two years younger than me, we will call her PZ, slept. Anyway, now that that's explained, you'll get to the story. I'll get to the story. PZ and J went to bed at 7.30 and I went to bed at 8.30. Wish I still had that as my bedtime, LOL. <laughs> and K, when she was home, once we were all sleeping, I heard my mom come in. This is normal because her anxiety, she checks on us every night. Anyway, I look down and wave at her. She waves back and I lay back down and then I look over and a lot of her essential oils are sitting on the dresser. And she was putting oils on Jay's back. This was normal, but normally oils help for when we are sick. So I went to my mom when she left our room and I asked why she was putting oils on my sister's back. And she said, I was just fixing her pillow and her blanket was over her face. Also normal. We are wild, wild sleepers. I was confused, but decided to go to my room and the oils were not on the dresser. To this day, my mom doesn't remember it, most likely because it wasn't important to her, but she's, she was, was just fixing the pillows and the blankets. Maybe I was in a light dream and saw her come in and then fell asleep and woke up thinking she was oiling up my sister's back, but I remember it so clearly. Anyway, not scary, but kind of. Was that your mom that you saw is my question. Oh, difficultly turning thoughts into words. Okay. Story number two. That's weird, right? This took place when I was two-ish, right after and during my mom's first divorce. We, me, PZ, and my mom lived in a duplex home. My mom is an esthetician skincare. We had a client who could see spirits that didn't bother my mom because she can feel spirits present. She's an empath. Anyway, I don't remember... This is all based off of what my mom told me. Okay. My mom was giving this lady a facial and an evil spirit came from our neighbor's wall into my mom's office. The lady said something along, along the lines of, it's okay. It's after me. 
The spirit went went through my mom's client and jolted my mom's hands and they both started crying because of his presence. The client cast him away with her words and the names of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Anyway, long story short, this client had another appointment and was walking down to the basement. My mom's office was down there and said, don't freak out, but there is a spirit in P's room, my room. My mom said something like, is it good? And the client said, yes, she has a long flowy white dress and seems to be watching P. My mom then said, uh, said as if she was realizing something, Cinderella. Turns out a couple weeks before that, I came running into my mom's room and I said, I can't sleep. Cinderella is jumping on my bed. Then her response was, tell Cinderella to go to bed. It's bedtime. Still to this day, I think Cinderella is my great grandma. Anyway, I saw angels a lot when I was little along the lines uh, to tea parties with them and talking to myself. That is so cool. Cinderella. You said Cinderella was on your bed. (laughs) That's so crazy. Story number three. In my new house, the one I currently live in, me and Kay share a room when she's here. One time I had a friend over and we were still sitting in my swinging bedroom hammocks and Kay came in. Me and my bestie kept talking and we look back and she was gone. What was weird is she's not a quiet walker and my bestie didn't see her. This one is probably because we went we weren't paying attention, but anyway, yeah. Thank you so much for reading. Your channel's amazing. I love you. Thanks again. Oh, see, if uh, if you post this, can you put it on YouTube? Yes, it's gonna be on YouTube because we're reading it right now. Love this one. You like this one? Yes. That one is cute. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for sharing your stories. Okay, first one. Maybe that wasn't your mom. I don't know if that was your mom. When you started reading this, when we started reading the second one, I thought maybe the spirit was the same spirit that you thought was your mom, but it looked different. It was Cinderella, so it can't be. (laughs) And number three, I don't know what happened there, but thank you so much for sharing those. I feel like I always miss you reading stories nowadays. Also, your videos don't pop up anymore. Talk to TikTok about that. I saw it. Thank you so much. They're all different timelines, so I don't know. That's very true. I don't know. Ooh, thank you so much, though. Okay, we are going to vote. If I can. Did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube. Happy face or sad face on tickety tockety tickety tuck 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 tuck. Um, if you want to send a story, you can send it to antimatrix at gmail.com. The Cinderella story was your favorite. Yes, it was really cute. It was so cute. TikTok switched so much around that I reset my algorithm. Ooh, how do you reset your algorithm? That's a great, cool thing to do. The next story we're going to be reading is Love Edits on YouTube, Chilling Power. Love Edits, are you still here? I believe you are. I wish I could die and come back as a cat. Same. It's in your settings. Hmm. Are you still here? Love had it. Are you here? Should be on YouTube. Just so you know the lineup, we have that. Love edits from YouTube, as long as they're here. Then we have Tippy Orbs in the House. That one has videos. Then we have Makeba, 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 YouTube Shadow Man update. And then we have Kelly. And I'm not sure the name of that one. And those are the last stories. Don't start that, please. Wait, what did I do? (laughs) What did I do? What did I start? (laughs) Oh, yawning. Didn't even notice I yawned. Um, Okay, I don't see love edits in here. So uh, we're going to skip to the next one. 
and pay attention for love edits in case they're here, in case they come back. So instead, we're going to read Tippy Orbs in the house. Can you let me know, Tippy, that you are here? I haven't seen you in so long. Finally came back. Do you still do stories? Yes, we're reading stories right now, user. And I put stories out like pretty much almost every single day. Make sure you go and check my page. TikTok just doesn't push me out anymore. I got you with my yawn. Boom. 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 Chris Watson, are you Tippy? Tippy's mama? Did you come over from TikTok to YouTube? There's Tippy's mama. Okay. Cool, cool. All right. Ooh, I'm excited for videos. Orbs in the house. Orbs in the house. I got you with my yawn, too. Just joking. Okay. Um, TikTok! You're killing it with likes today! Woo! I made you yawn? <laughs> oh, my gosh. No, I do not read them the same day. If you see, no, Moki, if we submit stories, do you read it the same day? No. So um, during the lives, I have a list. I normally read 10 stories during my lives and our list is full today. We're actually reading 11 today because we hit a like goal also. But I'm all filled up today. Um, but you can email story if you like. I have 8,000, not a joke, not an exaggeration unread stories in my inbox. I try to get through as many as I can. I normally put out a video every single week. So like 10 go out in videos every week. And then I do when I do lives, I do 10 each live at least. Um, so the best way to get your story read is on a live um, because the other ones I just pick at random. So the best, <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> Um, the best way to get your, your story read is on a live. So when I'm going to be going live, I always post on Discord. I'm going to put it up right now. It's dsc.gg slash antimatrix if anyone wants to join. Um, I always post in Discord and I'll say like, I'm going live tonight. And then I'll say, if you have stories that you want me to read on the live, potentially drop them here and you could put your story name in there and get on the list early. That's the first place I'll look for stories. And then when I come to the live, if we still have spots after the Discord story, out of the 10, then I'll ask people in the live, I'll just be like, hey, who has a story? So the best thing is to either get in the Discord and put them in there um, when I'm asking for them or make sure you're on in the beginning of the lives so that you can get your story on the list for the night. I love you. Okay. I wish I could get through everyone's story, but I physically cannot. I have so fucking many. Best story ever is the log cabin guy with the dolls. Graveyard shift. Ooh, 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 so good. Okay. Hello, Amanda. We are having three more stories, I believe. Okay. We are done with this one. I'm done with this guy. We're going for orbs in the home. This one has videos. Woo! Oh, no. I don't know why I just sang that. Okay. Orbs in the home. We are starting at 3. 27. 35. Here we go. Hi, Auntie. Thank you for reading. Hi. You're welcome. My childhood home. My mom brought, uh, bought the home I grew up in with my brother and sister in 1962 with my oldest brother's father, her first husband, and uh, the Central Valley of California. He passed away five years later from diabetes. She then married my father but divorced. My father has also passed on. My stepfather of 46 years passed on in this house. The following videos are of him 
and my sweet mama sleeping. We had cameras in the house as my mom had dementia and her husband was aging. My stepbrother passed away at 16, tragically after being hit by a semi while riding his bicycle. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. We had so many loved ones connected to this house. The energy is everywhere. We ended up hiring full-time caregivers that claimed that they had sensed a strong presence around them and wouldn't go to the back of the house at night. My mom has since moved into a nursing home after breaking her leg in a fall and her home hasn't been uh, has been vacant for over a year my niece and her family came to stay over easter break during their stay they had a crazy activity with bower battery powered salt and pepper grinders coming on randomly that were tucked away in a cabinet see video attached cabinets being open weird phone activity a random phone charger being placed lights on there is uh, there are no longer cameras in the house, but it would be interesting to see what's going on while no one is there. My sister and I are often checking in on the maintenance we're having done on the house and we never feel anything negative. Okay, we are going to watch these videos. Hold the phone. We got to get them. <laughs> I can't. I probably look so stupid because I keep making these weird faces because of my Fucking eyeballs. My eyeballs. Didn't I press download? Oh, I did. All right. Let's get this over here. All right, TikTok. Let me show you too. There we go. There you go, TikTok. All right, here we go. This is the salt and pepper shakers. Um, no. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Let me get the other. Let's get the other ones. <laughs> she just goes, um, no. Hold on. I wasn't ready to play these yet. I'm trying to get it ready. Okay. All right. This is the footage in the room. Oh. What? Why are there so many? Do you guys see how many there are? Why are there so many? It does look like someone blowing bubbles a little bit. Well, the covers are moving because there's someone in the bed. There are literally so many. Is there a fan on the table behind the camera? I'm not sure. All right, let's look at the third video. Portal area. Oh, interesting. In the beginning, at the side, the covers moved and they were laying still. <gasps> Wait, really? I'll have to go back and look. Hold on. Here's the third video. Some people are saying it could be dust particles floating. There was a flashing orb. Look at that one flashing, just going across. Did you see that? Look at it go. Boop, 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 flashing, going right across. Well, let me look at the other one that you were talking about when you were saying. Was it this one? You said the covers moved. Hold on. Let me get this one back over here. It's four. Interesting. Dust, people are saying dust looks different. Summer spirit for sure. Let 
The person seems restless. Yes. I don't think so. I saw that with the covers too. Did they say that this is the grandmother that passed? I think so, right? Dust falls, it doesn't go up. Yes, orange, correct. Ooh. We think the covers moving was the person's knee. I didn't see what they were talking about with the covers. If you're talking about Oh, maybe it wasn't what I'm talking about. The way they flicker. You're right, John. You're right. Last video covers. Dementia makes her restless. No, that's my mom. Oh. The fan isn't moving even. I have so many videos like this. This is while my stepdad is asleep. It's interesting because they come from the left in the first video and the right in the second. That is interesting. I didn't even notice that part. What's that in the reflection of the picture on the wall? I don't know. Oh, you mean here? I don't know. What is that? I definitely believe those are orbs, though. Some seem to have little tails. I didn't notice that. The camera light over here? No, not this. This. Something about that hall is just creepy. This is a mirror? Look at the doorway, I believe. I saw something with the dancing orbs. You did. I'll play this one more time. Hold on. Looking at the doorway, apparently. Nope, I'd be moving out. I see it in the picture on the wall. It keeps shifting sizes. Yes. I can't see the light count under your accounts. Is there a reason? Why can't you see the light count? You should see it. I've seen something move in the mirror. Woo! Crazy, crazy. Thank you so much for sharing these. I love to see your cool pictures, nice cool orb videos and pictures. Did you guys appreciate this story slash videos? Yes or no on YouTube? Happy face or sad face on TikTok? Thank you, thank you. We are gonna say we read this on live. Um, our next one is Makeba YouTube Shadow Man update. Makeba, Makiba, Makuba, Mak I can't, I can't remember. <laughs> My handwriting's really bad. <laughs> are you here? Just want to make sure. The picture on the wall that you were pointing at is actually a painted portrait of my mother many years ago. Really? That's interesting. That is interesting. Yes. Yeah. It is. You're so welcome. Makiba, Makeba, Makoba, Makeba, Makeba. Are you here, my darling? Can I share the Discord link again? Absolutely. The Discord is DSC dot gg slash anti matrix tiktok it is on the screen for you and youtube it is in the chat please come join us in discord for announcements about lives and youtube videos and to hang out with 1800 like-minded individuals she commented well she was on youtube before
Might have the babe mixed up. That's okay, Kate Sweets, but thank you so much for reminding me. Hey. Hey. That's not for you to hang out in. <laughs> Literally can't. Um... Okay, I don't see Makeba, which is great, which is crazy because they were in here before, like being like, "Please read my story." Ha ah, 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 ah. And now they're not here, so we're gonna skip to the next one, which is oh, which is the extra one. It's Kelly. Kelly, let me look your story up, my darling. Kelly, you're still here, right? K e l l i e. Boop. I have the same breed cat. Does yours play fetch too? Uh, which one? The one that looked. The one that looks like he's dead on the bed? <laughs> yes. That's Odin. He's a Maine Coon. Um, he plays fetch sometimes. I also have um, Cauliflower who's running around over here. She's a ragdoll. She also plays fetch sometimes. But you know who like, really loves fetch is Natasha, the little Russian blue. Loves fetch. Loves it. Loves little crumpled up papers and loves to play fetch. You are here. Do you have your thing on live, my darling? Makeba, click on... Someone Can someone type in here to tell her to click on live and make sure she's caught up on the live? Oh my god, Katie baby, thank you for the heart me. April, thank you for the heart me. Rachel, thank you for the heart buff and the rose. Silly, thank you so much for your first gift for the rose. Mama Jen, thank you for the hand hearts. April, thank you for your first gift roses. Jacqueline, thank you for the team bracelets. Tony, thank you for the heart me. Missy, thank you for the hand hearts. I think I caught up on everyone. Is it true that Russian blues are hypoallergenic? I'm honestly not sure. Yes, I will. Yes, Kelly, I'm, she is here, so I am gonna do, I am gonna do hers first and then yours. So we're doing Shadow Man update, which I have right here. So let me write it down. Shadow Man update. <laughs> She's definitely not caught up on the live, or he, she, or they is definitely not caught up on the live because they keep saying I'm here from before. Okay. Shadow Man update. Okay, Kelly, thank you so much. Here we go. We're starting this one at uh, 3.41.47. Hello, Auntie. Hi. And hello, fellow glitches. I shared with you not long ago about my shadow man or who possibly could have been a shadow man experience. I was the one who said something clearly said to walk out of the bathroom backwards and to look over my shoulder and he slash it walked right by me and into my bedroom. I remember that one. Here is the update. I don't know if I mentioned being pregnant at the time. I was. And I had my one-year-old daughter at the time. Well, shortly after the bathroom incident, I gave birth to my son. My daughter and her father were home in the apartment and when I gave, uh, when I gave birth naturally, I was hospitalized for three days. The night before I came home, I was talking to their dad on the phone and he was freaking out. He woke up covered in Vaseline and my daughter supposedly went through the apartment and rubbed Vaseline up and down the hallway walls back and forth. What? Here's the first impossibility. She wasn't walking at that time. So what the hell? When I got home, her little handprints were definitely there with the evidence. I saw it and I measured her little hands to it. Perfect match. I also noticed another set of Vaseline handprints that were near the damn ceiling going up and down the hallway that were huge and definitely not hers that her dad had not noticed. We laughed it off and never spoke on it again until the other day. What do you mean? How do you not speak about that? 
My daughter is 26 now. We were talking about that specific memory and my daughter looks at me and says, Ma, there was definitely someone there. He was tall and black and he had an Abraham Lincoln type hat on and he played with me the entire time that you were in the hospital. I just looked at her mouth open and speechless. She looked concerned. She said she always thought it was a real person and she played with him often. Mind blown. Not a sleep paralysis demon if she's up playing with him. What in the world is it? The end. Well, obviously my first thing was the hat man, but he's normally a sleep paralysis demon. I don't think the hat man hangs out and plays with people. So maybe it had, maybe it was the spirit of like, it was just like an old spirit, like from a while ago, you know, like that lived long time ago when they wore those hats, some sort of guardian, a guardian person. Yes. An armed guardian person. How would she remember that at one? I don't know. My first thought was the hat man also. Maybe a past family member. Yes. Does she still see him? Do you still see him is the question. I'm going to say probably not, right? You know, one of the members on Ghost Hunters talked about a connection of the same man. You remember things from one? Some people do. It's crazy. I was little and thought it was the ghost of Abraham Lincoln. Oh, my God. My daughter still remembers things when she was one, actually. Hopefully, hopefully, Makeba has caught up to the live. I don't think that they have because <laughs> they're not answering their questions. <laughs> You got to click the live button on YouTube. If you click live, it'll take you to live. You, I think you're like back in the live a little bit. I can't even remember things from yesterday. I have memories from one too. I remember all the way back to six months. What? Drop dead Fred. Oh my God. Kids from different countries have had the same experience, but no connection to each other. I remember things from when I was a baby. Freaks my mom out. That is so crazy to me. <laughs> How can people remember so much? I have no idea. I have literally no idea. That was very interesting, though. Definitely a protective spirit. Maybe a, a different, like a older spirit from a different time that's just in the house. Or maybe... A protective, he looked like a 3D shadow, maybe a protective spirit of like, um, like a relative or an ancestor. That's my guess. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Did you appreciate that, sir? We are going to vote. You remember being born? Yo, can you write that up as a story one day? That's a very interesting. That's not only what we read, but I'm interested in seeing what you're being born story is like, did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube? Happy face or sad face on TikTok? My memories are in the third person. Like I'm watching myself. Really? That's very cool. A very mischievous spirit. Maybe. I have a specific memory when I was young, like a baby. My daughter vividly describes a memory from six months. I doubt her, but it is spot on. She doesn't see him anymore, but my granddaughter does. Oh, that's so cool. I even started speaking later than other kids because I decided I didn't want to. They had looked at me, but the doctor confirmed I just didn't want to. My first words were pink shoes. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. Kelly, I'm going to grab your story now. And that is going to be the last story of the night, my friends. My friends. All right, we read this one on live. Now we're going for Kelly's. Mm. 
Oh, wait. I think you sent it to the wrong email address. All right, let me just send this to the right email address so I can archive it correctly. I'm nervous for some reason, lots of pressure. <laughs> Don't be nervous, my darling. Yuri, thank you so much for the hand hearts. Lindsay, thank you for the hand hearts. Sherry, thank you for the heart me. Saucy, thank you for the team bracelet. Katie, thank you for the heart me. April, thank you for the heart me. Rachel, thank you for the heart me and the heart bubbles and the rose. Lindsay, thank you for the hand hearts. I think I read all these already. <laughs> I don't need you to resend it now. I have it. I have it. I have it. I have it. Have it. Have it. I have it. Have it. Have it. Yes, Odin is full grown. Hey, JMZ. All right, this one is called Like Father, Like Daughter. This is our last story, my loves. Like father, like daughter. Wee! All right, we are starting this one at 3.50.05. Hi, Auntie. Hi. Long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> I love it. So about two weeks ago, my daughter, age 10, woke up and told me that she had a very scary, very vivid dream, but she said she also didn't feel like it was a dream. She's on the first floor of our house next to my bedroom, and she said in her dream, she was looking out to the window of her room. Standing about 15 feet away, she told me by the neighbor's fence, but since you don't know how far that is, I'll say 15 feet. She obviously didn't use that terminology. She said she got a bad feeling as the lady didn't seem to have a face but she had a black dress with a hood that hung and cast a shadow over her face. She said she wasn't able to look away like the lady kept her from looking away. She said in the dream, she also wasn't able to speak. She tried to scream, but nothing came out. She said she was finally able to look down and she looked back up and the lady was closer. No, thank you. <laughs> Then while eyes locked, she said my husband was by her side. He told her that looking away only gives the lady more power. Keep her in your sight. Then she said she told him that she was scared and he was suddenly gone. She looked away and the lady got closer again. She got she got to the point where she was almost to the window, almost face to face. She didn't say anything the entire time. That makes it like so much creepier. Yes, we have so many emotes going on on TikTok right now. As she said, this, my husband was in the kitchen and stopped what he was doing and stared at me with the most serious face. My husband has lived in Brazil for a few years from 19 to 21. He said that he's seen lots of witchcraft and demonic things he really doesn't like to talk about, but this moment I knew that he believed her. He pulled me into the other room away from her and told me that it's the same lady that he has seen in his dream. He said he's also not able to speak, scream, or pull his eyes off of her. This has truly scared me to my core. Side note, when she was younger, she would tell me that she saw a lady once or twice. I remember one time, specifically when she woke up and was coming to my room, when she saw what she described as a lady sitting at the end of my bed. She was younger, so I never got a description, but she said she was sitting there staring ahead, but her head was a little bit down. The end. Oh my God, chills. Woo, my goodness. Yes, chills, chills, chills. That's crazy. That is so crazy. It was the same. Throw the entire neighborhood away. <laughs> oh, this gave me physical chills. No, thank you. Yep, yep, yep. Woo! My husband said he always jolts awake the few times he's seen her. That is so crazy. And he was the one in, in your daughter's dream, right? That was saying, looking away gives her more power. Keep your eyes on this lady, basically. Weeping angel lady, don't blink. Wait, what is that? Is that a thing? No, thank you. Nope, nope, nope. Exactly. Is weeping angel lady a thing? I 
haven't heard of Weeping Angel Lady. Oh, Doctor Who. Woo! Only higher dimensional beings of love and light are allowed in and around this house. Anything else is not welcome and needs to get out. <laughs> it's a Doctor Who thing. I didn't know. Sorry, guys. I was like, what's a weeping angel? <laughs> oh, my God. What? That was yucky and scary. <laughs> that is so crazy. Like, I wonder who it is, though. Maybe that was her saying that in the dream, not the husband. Oh, Melinda. Melinda is saying maybe it was really the lady saying not to look away in the dream. Like trying to get her to keep looking. Oh, I didn't think that. Did Oh, that's a good question, Amanda. Did the husband see her when he was little or recently? We bring things into reality through belief so they could be real now. That's very true, persevere. Even scary, never thought of that. Just hold the power. Don't blink. Yes, these are anti-matrix emojis. He started seeing her in recent years spread apart, though. Okay, okay. Oh, yes, NYC, you do have the emotes, too, because you're, you're a subscriber. TikTok Live subscribers and YouTube members have all of the anti-matrix emotes. You can use them. Woo! <laughs> she's following. So she's following your family around? That's so crazy. We got to fix this. Is she still getting the dreams? Like, not too close together, but a few times, he said. He has told me scary dreams, but not in detail. Oh, Colleen, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Icky. Woo, that was a good one. Thank you so much for sharing. Let us um, vote. Did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube? Happy face or sad face on TikTok. While you guys are voting, I just want to say if you missed any of those stories or if you'd like to rewatch, this live is recorded and will be posted on YouTube by tomorrow. So please make sure that you are subscribed over at YouTube TikTok if you are not already. It is I am Anti Matrix over on YouTube and the stories will be timestamped in the description in case you don't want to watch the whole live and search for them. You'll be able to just click and go to the stories. Um, also, you should come and subscribe over there anyway. And... Also, if you have any stories that you would like to send me for the future, for future lives or future videos, you can send them to antimatrix at gmail.com. TikTok is on the screen and YouTube, I'm going to put it in the chat right now. Um, also, please make sure that you come and join our Discord. Um, Discord is really important for announcements. It is dsc.gg slash antimatrix. TikTok is on the screen. YouTube, it's in the chat. Um, we have over 1,800 people in there. You can hang out with like-minded people and you can get announcements from me. I will at everybody, which means you'll get a notification telling you when I'm going live, when I post YouTube videos, when I drop merch and things of that nature. So please make sure you are part of the Discord. If you check the link in my bio, tessicavision.com is the link in my bio. If you check there, it has all of my links, all of the things I'm saying. Plus it also has my PO box if you'd like to send me anything. If you send me anything, I always will open it either on a live or in a video. Um, you're so welcome, Kelly. Thank you so much for sharing. I just lost my train of thought. Woo! Um, and whatever other links I have, I can't remember, but that's all my things. Um, I am 80% going live tomorrow night around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So uh, pencil me in, but I'll let you know in Discord if that's true or not. I want to say thank you so much to everyone that came today. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for tapping the screen. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for um, sending gifts and subscriptions and memberships and super things. Thank you for being you. Mods, thank you so much for helping and taking time out to help to moderate. I appreciate you too. I appreciate everybody so fucking much. You guys are amazing. I love this community. Thank you for being a part of it. Um, do you guys want to play a round of the drawing game before I hop offline? I just wanted to get all my announcements out while people were still in here. Let me know if you want to play the drawing game. We can play it one more time before I go. 
You're not done tapping yet? <laughs> you can keep on tapping all you want, my friends. Yes, drawing game. Yes, yes, yes. Katie says, nah. <laughs> okay, Katie. You don't have to play. You can go. I love you so much. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Let me put this here. There, there. Let me move you here. Let's open this up. Let's go to the game. Game time. I'll just mod and guess incorrectly. <laughs> Katie, you don't have to stay. It's okay. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. I keep losing my train of thought. Oh, you were joking. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Okay. We're going to play this one more time. And then I'm going to go because my eyeballs need a rest. These eyeballs are really annoying. Anyone who's leaving, I love you so much. Thank you for hanging out. And I'll see you soon. Um, okay. What should we do? What should we do? What should we, what should we do? Here we go. First one. Ready? We're going. All right. We're going to do... <laughs> My eyes. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 ah. Mm, boop, 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 boop. Yeah, you guys are getting it. This is an easy peasy one, huh? There you go. Does that help? <laughs> that's one of the pieces <laughs> that's one of the pieces here's another one here's another one whoop. Whoop. yeah oh it's not on the screen YouTube <laughs> YouTube it's not on the screen I don't know how that happened I'm so sorry <laughs> get run away I was like, why is no one guessing on YouTube? Oh my god. <laughs> Whoops. Uh I'm just letting them guess because they couldn't see it. <laughs> but the answer is chess. This is chess. These are supposed to be the is it a rook that looks like a castle? And a a pawn? Yes. What's the matter, Odin? What's the matter, bud? Did you want to come play? Come on. Come here. You want to come up? Okay. He's a silly goose. All right. All right. It was chess. The answer was chess. I don't know what's going on with these cats. They're going to love having so much more room. Okay, here we go. Next one. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, did not mean to do that. Ooh. Ooh. All right, go. Oh, you guys are getting it. <laughs> That's a yak. <laughs> and people are putting the yak emote. <laughs> I love you guys so much. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Yes, friends, the answer is cowboy. The answer is this is a cowboy. Clearly, this is a horse and a really big saddle. 
The answer is cowboy. All right. One more. One more. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Let's try this one. Here we go. Last one. Um... Hmm. No one's getting it yet. Okay. Some people are almost getting it. They are getting it. But I feel like I need to say something. I feel like I need to say it's a very specific one. A specific one. Yes. The word was literally that. It wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> the answer to this is Heinz. It literally, that was it. It wasn't the word ketchup. It was literally the word Heinz. How did all my friends do on this round of the drawing game? Did you get them all right? If you did not get right, uh, get them all right. Which ones did you miss? Which ones did you miss? Which ones did you miss? Whoa, oh, 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 oh. three out of three. My partner is texting me sweet things and I'm like, shh, I'm on a live. <laughs> Heinz got you. One out of three. One out of three. Okay. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much. I love you. I will see you soon. I will hopefully see you tomorrow. I think. We'll see. We'll see. Mwah. Love, 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 love you. Good night. Good night. See you later, alligator.